Welcome back to another episode of Podcast 572. As always, I am your host, Kyle. I'm joined by my two friends, Dan and Matt, and we have a special guest this week. Back to join us again after, I think we were discussing beforehand, it's been like a year and a half. It was about May. Uh, Mr. Ryan E. Miller. Hello, hello. Thank I you. thought it was four years, which gives you an idea of how, uh, <laughs> how clouded my brain was. I was like, yeah, we did this in like 2020, right? Like now it's May 2022. Yeah, it was and I was like, definitely oh, during mid pandemic. Yeah. I was like, what's happened? <laughs> Yeah, and then, then the re- and the reason I remembered too that when exactly you were on, ironically, was before, uh, like right when you were on the very next day, my girlfriend and I took a trip down to uh, southern part of the state where I always go to this uh, very very cool uh, retro game store, and ironically, we just took that trip last week. Yeah, <laughs> so that's I was like, boy, that's it. weird. Yeah, that's how it's based off when Ryan's going to be on the podcast. He knows I got to go to that store. <laughs> there you hey, go. I'll, perfect. Hey man, I'll say this: while I was there this time, I heard somebody over talking with like with the guy working behind the counter about how they have a just a basement full of stuff that's unprocessed. God, Jesus. and that's I just I, I don't. I don't have the I, I don't know I don't have the cojones to go up and be like can I look at that? That's the, that's the that dream stuff? to just be able to like <laughs> go down to stuff that hasn't been touched and just like dig through it. I mean, yeah, for sure. Yeah, I have uh, I finally found a a local enough store to me out here because I live in Southern California, mm-hmm. and uh, there wasn't a good store that was you know anywhere it's about 20 minutes away now, and he'll do that for me. He knows the kind of stuff that I want, and 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 it's something where I don't do it very often, but I kind of. Uh, by the way, I'm a celebrity. <laughs> and, and, so, and so he thinks it's like cool that I'm there. I'm very so big like in the retro game world. Yeah, yeah. So sometimes he'll get like, yeah, he'll get these big trade ins and he knows like I'm looking for like Sega Master System and Game yeah. Boy and like I'm trying to finish an N64 collection. So he'll be like, you want, I'll let you take a look at these first if you want to come back here and just uh, dig around a little bit. Let That's me know. Cool. And I'm like, cool. That's dope. That was yeah. always the, that was always the GameStop plus, right? Like we got first dibs on anything that was traded and then it would just go in a drawer for months until we could buy it and we just pretended we didn't have it i never heard <laughs> of have that no i don't no i haven't seen a copy come in there was no, a I... seventh final fantasy what are you talking oh. about that's, <laughs> that's too many that's too many let's be fair <laughs> no i uh I, I i we try to go down there annually i took some doubles of some stuff that i have that i, I don't have a like the closest retro store i think you and i have around us dan is like probably 45 minutes away maybe an yeah, hour maybe a little bit longer so yeah. but uh i i don't know i enjoy this store more <laughs> than that one to be fair but well, yeah for for a couple of reasons Hard but to. um yeah no this time the other thing that i i did so i know that they have a uh retro xbox 360 light up sign from like a display oh, that nice. i've coveted for years and uh so this time i thought i you know i've been thinking like what in my collection could i take and maybe deal to get this thing and so i took uh my fire emblem uh fates that i have like the special edition Mm -hmm. um would not deal only because he would have done it if it was sealed but because i've opened it i I mean obviously i played it when it came out he's like he wouldn't do it just for that i would have had to pay on top of it and it was a little it was more than i want to pay so right now for a for for a light up sign that i'm not going to hang in my house for a while (laughs) because our basement's not finished so that's when i was like man this thing's just gonna sit collecting dust in my house so that's why i was like no not not right now but I was hoping for it, but no, I got I got some cool stuff while I was there. So it was it was an over it was an overall worthwhile trip to go there. Uh and that's that's probably the first time in like a year I bought anything retro game wise, I think. Yeah, since you, the yeah, you didn't come uh, with not, MGC. Yeah. yeah. Since the whatnot uh explosion last your year addiction. where I spent a month yeah. yeah, my addiction for a month You're and then I cut off that app completely. <laughs> that's that's your fault, Matt. <laughs> 
I got up to like two hundred dollars in that. I was like, I need to get out of this. That app is just. It's, like, I can't. I honestly can't believe that app is still like going. It's, it's still such going. a weird. It's such a weird experience. I guess is the only word to describe because that. App. I've not messed around with whatnot. It's all live auctions, correct? Yeah, mostly I, for okay. the most part. There are like weird ones where it's like they'll put up a list of everything they have and be like, oh, I've got this coming up, and you can like bid on it before it comes up and like buy yeah. it out from underneath the auction so you so can yeah. silent auction as yeah, well as auction basically it's strange it happens at like the same time so like if you go in and you see the list like oh there's there's a game i want and i know it's going to come up and then it turns out well somebody bought that 20 minutes ago yeah, yeah. what the hell are we doing here either do it one way or the other because i just also say those minutes. are the ones that i didn't waste my time no with, if i I'm saw worried. that that was like the rule of the room it's like i'm out of here like there's no way but you know ebay started doing that now too live i'm options. not surprised oh, of course it's yeah. how long before ebay just buys them oh yeah for <laughs> sure. it, it made, just I mean, integrates it into the site it made sense at the time that it launched because it was still in the height of the pandemic so like yeah. it worked for that reason but like it, it was cool when i went on there because you just have people selling lots of stuff and then i would buy a lot and 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 get you know most of the time get good stuff sometimes i get you know that hot x gems uh <laughs> copy of, one of the most uh, kind of infinite what, versions of an xbox game I've ever oh counter strike it's yeah. counter strike yeah instead of xbox it says x gems on it <laughs> it was just like it, it was in the middle of this pile so when the guy was showing it like i didn't notice it i'm just looking at it like okay he's got a couple games in there for original xbox i don't have you know, I can. I think I spent ten dollars on it. Like it wasn't a, a large amount of money, but then I I just laughed when I was going through it when it came. I'm like, what What the hell is this? So, um, but we can we can go ahead and dig into what we've been playing. Um, which the big, I mean, the big game of this week is Mortal Kombat One. Which Dan, I think you've you beat the story. I have finished the story and okay. I've played a pretty decent amount of invasions and I did okay. a couple towers. So I'll I'll talk about Starfield first, and then we can yeah. talk about Mortal Kombat. Because the sure. only other game I played is Mortal Kombat, and I have not finished the story. So, so we'll proceed with that, so you don't spoil the big like chapter. I won't 15 say thing. I won't say what happens, yeah. but yeah. So um, I'm continuing to play Starfield. I have like 50 ish hours into it now. Uh, I'm still like really, really, really enjoying my time with it. I'm finding more and more um, just like dumb, crazy shit that. <laughs> Like, like, remember I told you last week when I was playing or the last time I recorded when I was playing, they had that like there was that one mission where these ships just start started dropping people in. Yeah. And I was taking them out. That happened again tonight when I was playing before we <laughs> started recording where like it was a mission where like at the very end of it, you have to take out this like bounty hunter and these the, a, a couple other like crews. But they just kept sending people like it, it was like three or four waves of ships coming in. So oh, it wasn't as good as last time where I killed all these people except for one. And that guy said, fuck it and ran to his ship and just flew away, which I'd still think is the best like thing I've seen in the game. But <laughs> um, it's, it's still just, I'm, I'm just fascinated by it. It's, it's just another good like Bethesda RPG. So um, I haven't seen any, I haven't really seen any like too many crazy glitches or anything like that. Um, the only, the only stupid thing that happened to me where I had to reload my save is I went through like a door or something and, and it does like the auto save thing. And I get to the other side, the left thumbstick just stopped working. Like sure. literally I can, I can pan the camera around my character, but I can't move my character. And yeah. I sat there for like a good five minutes. Just like, like what is going on here? I had people like walking into my character and like, stand, so like you, you've seen the robot guy. He yeah. just walks into my character, so it's like this weird, like he's standing inside of me, like thing. Hot. It's almost um, like a, but it's I, almost like a <laughs> that I'm talking about. Load yeah. Yeah. But yeah, I just I reloaded it and it was fine because I now I was worried. I'm like, oh, did I screw up the game? But no. So uh, I, I, I mean, with, Bethesda jank, you know, not even withstanding <laughs> a game that big, you're gonna have little. Yeah, thing. like I, I, I think it's sure. impractical to think that a 200 hour expansive <laughs> game is going to be 100 percent perfect especially it, it, with it's, like it's the price of doing this you know 100 you know 100 couple hundred what is it it's like 200 like things you can technically land on that all have to have hit boxes there are a lot of and, and, oh, yeah, yeah. For sure. yeah it's just it's gonna happen uh, but there is accounts, i believe there like is this is like the lowest buggy game they've released no like it, i i think i think if they would have launched the game last fall like originally oh. planned it would have been a typical bethesda like oh this is broken that's broken we'll patch it and i think giving them an extra year and putting it out this year like it's been like 
pretty shockingly bug free for the most part. Their launch, like that's yeah. not what you heard about at launch. Well, and like I said, like, you know, I played it on cloud for a couple hours. Yeah. And while that experience is terrible, uh, it wasn't <laughs> the game that was the problem. You know what I mean? Like the game was not buggy. It's the fact that cloud gaming doesn't work. It was the problem. Yeah, it's, yeah, we're not it, there yet. it is amazing <laughs> over the last two years how pro game delay I've become. Because I, oh, I, yeah. I, I, I would so much as excited as like I haven't started Starfield yet because I have a four month old baby that doesn't let me do anything <laughs> really yeah. right now. Yeah. But, uh, uh, you know, as excited as I was to play Starfield, if they need an extra year to make that shit work, please <laughs> take an extra year. Please take two years. Well, I mean, yeah. I, I think pretty famously what Breath of the Wild was delayed two or three years or something like that. Yeah. It's just like, mm-hmm. yeah, keep Tears of the Kingdom kept getting kind of pushed and pushed and pushed. <laughs> Make it make it good. I don't care. There are literally tens of thousands of games to play. Yeah. <laughs> Please make there's your always, game good. <laughs> there's always too much stuff that I have like just sitting, like ready to go. That if you know, if a game that's like like Final Fantasy Rebirth comes out in like February, if they told me it was July, fine, okay, fine. Like yeah, I don't I care. I would be fine with it's, it too, because it's starting it to probably fill up needs now. it. Yeah. And like <laughs> that seems too soon almost actually. Which is a weird problem where, like, you know, you used to want to have games announced and they come out, like, right away. Six months away seems too quick. <laughs> like, yeah. I'm, not ready. Yeah. I'm not ready for that yet. I can't I've even got, get through October. <laughs> I have Spider-Man no. coming and I have Mario RPG. Yeah. Con- like, I have, like, the rest of my year is kind of planned. And then I got to <laughs> fill in all this other stuff. So it's like, that's... Mm-mm. Yeah, like I, I still want to play that Lies of P game. I'm not going to yeah. get to that anytime soon. Like I, yeah. you know, I got, I also have Spider Man next month. I, I and on top of that, like a week later, I have Alan Wake two. Mm-hmm. So, <laughs> like, I'm glad that was when they were like, "Hey, we're delaying this alone in the dark game." I'm like, "Thank God, that's January." And then we'll get to we'll get to the news, but something else got announced. It's the same day as that now, and I'm like, "Really? Are we really going to have to do that?" But then you throw in so. stuff like you know, Baldur's <laughs> Gate just came out, and it's like, "When am I going to yeah. fit in 200 hours of something else?" I don't have time for that. That is the one where I like I I've kept saying, and it's an excuse, but I keep saying, "I'm like, that's fine. I'll wait for that Xbox version since they delayed it." Thank God that version's delayed. Yeah, because that's yeah, that's what's go. put me off from like I've sat so many times like on Steam, sitting ready to click buy because I really want to play that game, but then I have that thought of like dude you're playing starfield right now and you're playing this you're playing, you don't have time to play this game but i everybody keeps talking about it so that that has literally never stopped me from buying a game ever <laughs> oh it doesn't stop <laughs> like oh oh you have these games like yeah i i, I own five thousand games the amount and, and I, yeah and and i just bought um it's basically a pc but it's a an emulator box because i just wanted everything in one spot so i'm kind of running out of space because one of my game rooms became the baby's room right yeah. so now i can't have all my consoles up so i bought a you know just a computer that runs hyperspin and all that that has all that just kind of in one place i'm still collecting but basically to put in storage right now until i have room later and uh so yeah i have i have another machine that literally has fifty thousand games just ready to go so it's like i'm okay i'm okay but i will still (laughs) like yeah i need this day one every nintendo direct every (laughs) place i'm like oh that looks awesome pre-order here we go go." the amount of the amount of sealed games just on the shelf behind me is oh it's very bad bad. no i I have that problem too especially my wife asked me once like why i had so many sealed games and for me uh i'm not like a sealed collector i'm not either and and, and, you know unless i have another way to play something i won't open it arbitrarily but like i'm like honey most of these games are sealed because i have a problem (laughs) <laughs> and I buy yeah. them too fast. And uh, I, I, everything I've bought is with the intention to play. It's not yes. being put on yeah. a shelf for no reason. I just don't have enough hours in the day. I just, the problem with that is like, I, I then fall into the trap with, I bought it with the intention to play, never got around to it. And now I feel like I can't open it because <laughs> like I have, I told you like Kyle, I have like fire emblem for GameCube that I, I would just never, open that. just never yeah. opened it. And it's like, why would I open it now? It's that the like, game is worth so much. It's gonna get it's gonna get remade for <laughs> Switch Two at some point, right? Yeah. That's what I bet yeah. on. That that is one of those examples of uh, and you know legality of uh, emulation notwithstanding, right? That like uh, you know I I double dipped like for instance I have a sealed copy of Devil's Third. Me too. For yeah. You yeah, and I went ahead and bought the digital version, right? Because Just I'm like, like it, it, it. I would lose more money opening the sealed one 
that I'm spending exactly. to just get a, a digital yeah. version on my system. So that exactly. makes sense. And that's that's a great argument for that too, because it's just like <laughs> why would I open that GameCube version of that game at this point? Like I just or or like the three DS guy was talking about like <laughs> Fire Emblem Fates. Yeah. I still have it sealed. And now I yeah. su- now I super can't open it because you can't even <laughs> buy that game digitally anymore. Yeah. So now it's like I, it, that's it what make, made it shoot up. It would so make high more value. sense for me to buy a loose copy of that game for like three hundred dollars. Yeah, yeah. Drop than to your open this and, and play and, it and keep your twelve hundred dollars sealed <laughs> yeah, exactly. uh, or whatever it is. <laughs> the economics of video game collecting is disgusting when you actually like think about it. <laughs> yeah. But uh, yeah, God, it's bad. But um. Otherwise, I mean, that's pretty much Starfield. I'm going to continue to play the hell out of that game. And, and right now, it's that's the game to beat for me for the year. Um, but we'll see. Spider-Man's around the corner. It's so, very close. And I'm very excited about Spider-Man. Um, but we can, we can talk about Mortal Kombat and that we can transition into what you've been playing, Dan. But uh, Mortal Kombat, I will talk about how far I am so yeah, you know so where I am. Not go for the, so, first of all, I fucking love Mortal Kombat 1. <laughs> Like, like it's so good it's so like i think like since nine they've done a really good job of crafting these stories mm-hmm. but for whatever reason this one like i'm on i think chapter four i want to oh, chapter okay. four chapter five yeah um i just started the tournament so oh okay yeah okay um the the writing in this game is excellent like the, there's a lot of humor like there's the there's a scene in the beginning where uh the very beginning where like um sub-zero and scorpion are kind of fighting and then there's a guy that has like a glass at this bar and so like sub-zero shoots and he has ice and the guy like chips it off puts oh, it in yeah. his glass like like stuff like that it's just really well done or like i don't know if this is the same guy that voiced johnny cage in the last couple games i'm or pretty not, sure but, like, it's not he he's sounds really different. good in yeah. this game like uh, extremely john claude van damme wow <laughs> <Is that laughs> And I won't I won't spoil like his introduction, but like it is an incredible introduction to that character in this game. It's a very like good, how they Yeah. Yeah. I mean so, you know he's a movie star, so they're parodying a very prominent movie. Well they do they do a lot of really good <laughs> things with the story in this game where it it combines what you know of it from before eleven. Mm-hmm. Like things you remember from how it actually you know, and going back to like one and two and three and actually like picking out a story is it, they didn't really exist. It was just kind of no. a thing you told yourself existed. And then they started <laughs> to flesh it out. They do a lot of, they do a lot of really good stuff of taking all of that and making it new again, but within the context of that stuff has already happened. We are, re, it is, yeah. the universe is literally restarting. And the, the marketing for the game was weird because they kept trying to be like, well, it's not a sequel. It's not a sequel. Bullshit. Oh, a it sequel. is a, <laughs> within two seconds, it's a literal sequel <laughs> to the game. Yeah. But I will say that without – I'm not going to spoil the story because it's it's really good and I, I'm excited for you to see like the twists and stuff they do. Yeah. They, there is a I know really, of it. Well, there's I two. Just don't order there's it. two big ones. Okay. There's, they do a really interesting take on the concept of fighting games. Like It's like a meta thing about how fighting games have a story and which okay. one is the canon ending. They do oh, a really they do a really smart a really smart thing about that. And okay, when they, when they I, I see it, what you mean. When they yeah. explain it, I'm just like, oh shit, that's actually really really good <laughs> because it because it can. The thing about this game is, even though like this has an ending, it does lead where it can go dozens of different ways when it's over, okay if, if it really wants to. Um, that being said, there is this really strange like mid credit scene which. Um, really does not fit what happened before. With the rest of the game, and they okay. don't, ex- and they, and it's they don't really explain like how this is possible because it shouldn't. All be. Right. So maybe we'll get that in whatever the hell the next game's called. It can't be two, sure. So who the, who the hell knows? Yeah. Um, um, it, the fight is called uh, Mortal Kombat <laughs> three sixty. Mortal go. Kombat Series X. We'll there be there you go. <laughs> Um, I mean, the fighting is as good as it's ever been. The, 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 there are, the one thing I'd say about this one now that I've now that I've actually played it, we've talked about it before it came out, but like the cameo thing, I I'm not, I don't dig it. It's, I would have rather just had those characters in the game. I understand it from a gameplay standpoint where they're trying yeah. to make it where like they can help you keep combos going. But yeah. From a story standpoint, it makes no sense because these characters are never talked about. Like, okay. like, well, because they don't exist. None of these cameo characters exist in the story. 
They're all yeah. separate. Oh, from, like, okay. Using right. within invasions or whatever. But it, it's all the more jarring to like have Sonya or Stryker as your teammate, but you can't <laughs> play as them. But yeah. they're there and they have fatalities. So why aren't oh. these full characters? That is weird. Yeah, and then that's kind of weird. And then half the cameos are just characters from the game. Like, but they're like old Sub Zero and old Scorpion. So okay. It's, just, it's out of pl- it's from a narrative standpoint. I just I do not like it from it's, a gameplay it's standpoint. It's kind of whatever. I get what they're going for. But did they use this thing to replace like being able to interact with the environment behind you? You know, like in like Injustice in a and way, Mortal Kombat. Like is, you could grab something behind you in the environment, and throw it at it somebody. It is strange that that doesn't exist That's not anymore in this either. Game. Yeah, yeah. It's. Uh, I mean, the environments are fantastic, but that is a weird. They look incredible. Um, <laughs> I don't want to say oversight. We'll say decision to make where you like. They removed stuff from the previous game, and like the biggest thing I hate that they removed is like the crypt is just gone. Yeah, that and, is. Yeah. That's the other decision that says in its place a is. Uh, before we even get to invasions mode, like you can earn like <laughs> coins through the game. Yeah. The only purpose that coins serve is you get to go to a menu of a, okay. that's a picture of a dragon statue that <laughs> you pay a thousand coins to, and then it melts the coins. And it's like, Hey, you got a skin. And that's it. Okay. That's all it does. And the worst part is it takes like 15 seconds for no reason. It just sits there <laughs> when it's done. And like, you're just sitting there. Oh, and that's you ever so melted a thousand again? coins? All right, I guess it takes that's a little time. <laughs> yeah. Takes a bit. With Eternal Dragon Flame, I would think yeah. it would be quicker. <laughs> so that's like a weird, that's a weird like unlock system because the rest of the unlock system is basically just playing with every character all the time. I'd, I'd rather have the crypt. Okay. I, yeah. The crypt was fun because it yeah. wasn't weird. just, yeah. Because it was like, you got to run around environments from the game. Like, oh, here's mm-hmm. the pit, and here's, like, Shang Tsung's, like, lair and stuff. And they throw and some weird Easter eggs and, like, stuff and in Easter there. Yeah. eggs, and there seemed to be a goal. Like, you can progress farther if you do this and that. Now it's this weird invasions mode, which is, like, a board game isn't even the right term for it because it's not okay. a game. You just literally, like, move around <laughs> a board, and you go to different spaces, and then it'll be, like, um, this space is called kung lao and it just means you fight kung lao <laughs> for one okay. ra- for one round and then it's over but every time you have to like load into this thing do the fight and then load back out and watch some animation for where the next thing goes it just makes everything take twice three times as long as it should so you're yeah. telling me invasion mode won't be back for the next mortal Kombat? <laughs> i doubt it i doubt it <laughs> the experiment the, well the point of this too well the point the point of this too is this is this is season passes or battle passes. Oh, I see. Because okay. every 45 days it resets and there's a new oh, quote unquote okay. story. The first story is Scorpion from a different timeline is looking for his wife. And in this okay. one, she's alive, but married to somebody else. So his idea is I'll just kill everyone. So you have to move <laughs> around all these boards to kill Scorpion. Scorpion. No, to oh, kill Scorpion. To you. That's how I Taking, won my yeah. wife over. Yeah. Actually, so I, just, <laughs> I just Mortal Kombat at everybody <laughs> that I met. And she it, was very impressed by my strength. Like, you get to pick who you want to be, and you get to pick okay. your cameo guy, and, like, you earn experience, and that's how you unlock, like, brutalities and fatalities and skins and stuff. But it also doesn't seem like there's enough content to unlock. Okay. It seems artificial because, like, everybody has 35 levels, but all I'm getting is colored variants of their current. Because that's what they're going to add with wow. the with the microtransactions, yeah, seasonal and events, stuff. and all yeah. that kind of stuff. Yeah, okay. you'll, you'll play the play the yeah. Halloween event. And you'll get to wear a pumpkin on your head. Wow, great <laughs> for a single player mode. Fantastic. Yeah. Um, I just I like the story is so good. Yeah. That the rest of the game falls flat because of how good the story was. Okay. And without gotcha. without spoiling it, like chapter fifteen, which is the last like chapter of that game. Okay, because this one works in similar ones where like they force you to be Johnny Cage for a, a chapter and then yeah, somebody else for a chapter. Exactly. That's fine because it introduces you to everybody. Chapter fifteen says, "Okay, pick who you want to be," and you'll kind of run this. It's like oh, like a gauntlet thing at the end, but okay. it does something so incredibly fun with like <laughs> the lore of that game and everything that's led to that point in that game. Really, it's so okay. incredibly fun. It made me smile because it was just so good. Like I was like, yeah, "What's going to happen I, next?" Kind of a thing. And then what they do is such a good idea that it should be somehow used in these other modes of this game. There should be a mode based on what is going on in this does not exist. 
That's exactly. kind of how I've heard everybody describe it. Will, it. it will without, make more yeah. sense when you experience it. Yeah. The idea that they do is such a great idea that they've never done before. Okay. And I doubt they will ever use again, which okay. is so weird because <laughs> it was the most fun I've had in a Mortal Kombat game probably ever. That one chapter. Yeah. Awesome. So it's it's strange. Like I do really like the game, but part of me feels it's a step I don't want to say back, but maybe sideways. It didn't improve okay. on 11 that much because it took too much. 11 was away. good. Well, 11 yeah. also had like living towers. Those yeah. are kind of gone. Those are they, cool. they do exist okay. in invasion mode, but not in the same way. Um, okay. It's just a weird. It's it's good. No, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna like, to play more of it this weekend because I really want to get through the story. Oh, oh, and the last thing you'll notice it. Too. I'm just, this isn't a spoiler. Megan Fox's performance in this game is garbage. I hear it's bad. I have not gotten <laughs> to it yet. It is arguably worse than Ronda Rousey's performance okay. in 11. And that was bad. What care? What character is she? She plays Natara, which is like okay. the vampire. Okay. But, so I haven't seen the character. Yet, Cause I keep waiting. I didn't know what character it was. I kept waiting. I'm like, all right, when I hear you'll the know. bad voice act, you'll, you'll know, know immediately. Yeah. Okay. Um, it just sticks out because everyone else is so good. Yeah. Like everyone else is so good. And then you get this famous actress to come in. And it sounds like she doesn't know how to read like lines. Okay. Uh, That's kind of how, unfortunately, like how Ronda Rousey sounded a little bit. Did. And, uh, but this but she is... also sounded like she was like, it, it's that problem you got a little bit. Like when games were, when games were being made in the beginning of COVID and then they came out where like, you can totally hear that they're in a performance booth. Like you yeah. can hear like the reverb in the background. So like, is it? Do you hear some of that too? Like no, specifically I hear her performance. Really bad okay. line readings. Just really flat. <laughs> Just okay. Really, All right. Really poorly okay. acted voice acting is what you hear. Okay. I'll. I will look out for it because I've been purposely looking out for it, but I didn't know what character. You it won't was, even. So. You won't even have to. You could close okay. your eyes and play that game, and you will know immediately. Because <laughs> everybody else is so good at it. Like hey, that's, that's the that's the downer. It's like okay. everyone else is so good that like. I don't know why they keep weird. doing that in these games. Like I don't. You don't need to do that. No. So yeah, it's, it's a marketing thing that they. Can, it is. It is. Yeah. Say and then it's bad and then there you go. <laughs> And then have they just you, pick somebody else next time. The, the last thing I'll ask, and we can move on, but yeah. uh, have you done the reskin thing to play as uh, Jean-Claude Van Damme? It's literally, yeah. I, it's, it was one okay. of the first things I did. It's just a reskin. It's pretty good. It's it's a fun, okay. like, again, a lot of this game is a nod to, like, the origins of Mortal Kombat. Yeah. All, basically all the way up until... <clears throat> um. Right up, until, right up always, until it went um, to like MK versus DC. It's like it's like everything before okay, that. Okay, okay. <clears throat> but it's a cool – because remember, like the game was supposed to be a Jean-Claude Van Damme game in the beginning. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And then that just never worked out. So they said screw it and they made Mortal Kombat instead. So it's a cool <laughs> like touch to have him come in. It makes me wish that they could have done it with like other people. Like imagine if they could have th- somehow gotten like skins of – them from the first Mortal Kombat movie or something. Yeah. Yeah. Like it's like um Robin shows Luke Kang and stuff like that would have been cool. Yeah. Like a throw a throwback to that movie. It's like when we when we were at that game store, my girlfriend found do you remember the the Spy Hunter game that came out that was supposed to have the rock in it? <laughs> yeah. Like oh, the yeah. movie and then yeah. the movie never happened. Yeah, she found that and was asking me like what is this? Like what I don't remember that I had to explain to her. I'm like, yeah that's a movie that never happened. Yeah. <laughs> but we got the game. <laughs> they did well that was like during that era when they were doing that because they did that they did Wheelman with Vin Diesel. Yeah. yeah. All of a sudden, like the people had their own video games and it was like, <laughs> are they gonna turn them into movies? And then the yeah. games bomb they're like, well, I guess not. I guess not. So um why don't you talk about the other yeah. big game you've been playing? Have you finished it? That's the first question. No, I have not finished it. Okay. Because I'm okay. but I'm at the end. So Sea of Stars, I'm at the game the game in typical like JRPG fashion gives you the thing where it's like, hey, just a warning, if you go here. You're uh-huh. on the path to the end. So you know it's time okay. to do other things. Yeah. So the last like um Which I want like, every game ever to do, by the yeah, way. Please, I, please it, do. It, it, it's a bit of a cliche, but as an achievement hunter, yeah. I will burn my house down when I find yeah. out I've uh, gated myself from <laughs> getting do. something because it didn't let me know. Yeah. It's it's it's, it's kinda of, it's not as important for this game because apparently there is like a post game. Um, but one of the okay. smart things this game does is it realizes that people are going to want to achievement hunt or like trophy hunt stuff. And it makes it easier for you. You literally get okay. this thing at a point in the game where you go to the map and you click on a space and the thing will pop up and say, hey, there's still a treasure chest here <laughs> or you need to do this here. It's like, that's Thank good, God, though. because otherwise it would not know. So for the last like five, ten hours, I've just been doing that and running around and 
getting chests I've missed and doing like there's a lot of optional side quests like for the characters to fight secret bosses and get secret equipment, which is always fun in any of these games. Um, the game also it's another JRPG game where like you're playing through it and you're like, oh, this is kind of where it's leading. And then halfway through it goes, nope. And it just completely flips. Oh, and really? it becomes okay. something yeah. else. And you go to a whole okay. different place and the plot changes. And then there's a like, character reveal. And then something else happens, which is terrible. And then, you know, it's like it's it pulls like every possible trope, but it does it in the best possible way. Like, OK, this is this is what it would be like if someone made Chrono Trigger today. OK, or, or Golden right. Sun no, today. That, it that, is that sells me. <laughs> it is close enough to that game where it, it's just it's it, it might not be as huge as Chrono Trigger is just because of like the timeline stuff and going back and different. Forth. Yeah. But in terms of like story and battle mechanics and um like the story is actually incredible and like all of the characters have individual backstories which are very good and they're all fleshed out and just like it's constantly giving you new lore but the new lore is interesting and then you yeah, well, can learn you, more about it if you want. you were telling me too the music's really good the music's incredible that's, it that might be one of the on best parts of, of the entire okay. game like every battle theme is good every overworld theme is good um it has a fishing system because every game does, but it's actually easy to use and understand. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> and it, it's not punishing. <laughs> I was talking to somebody else about it. I said, the, the thing I like most about the game probably is that it is challenging, but it is not hard because gotcha. the fights take some semblance of thinking ahead, like yeah. two or three moves, because they give you indicators about when other things are going to attack and how they're going to attack. So you have to kind of plan ahead and, and, um, you could swap characters in and out on the fly. Another another novel thing for an RPG game, which they don't all nail. Every character is interesting. It's not <laughs> it's not like a game where you just no. That's pick, good. I'm going to be Cloud, Tifa, and Sid the entire game, and just fuck yeah. it. That's who I'm going to run with, and that's yeah. it. This game it doesn't make sense to do that. It makes sense to keep switching people in and out and using them okay. and leveling them all and, and figuring out what works best and making combos and stuff. Um, it's rare that a JRPG can do that. As you say, so it's- it's not like Mass Effect Andromeda where I don't remember any of those people. No. Like at all. Yeah. All of these people are like they have soul it's, crushing like they have soul yeah. crushing moments in their stories. It's like and the Mass like, Effect trilogy where I remember each yeah, character. It does really good stuff where like yeah. they do okay. flashbacks to stuff that happened to them that That's made cool. them the way they are. And they're not okay. like twenty minute scenes, they're two or three minute scenes. But it's enough for you to understand like what's happening and what their relationships are with other characters in the world. It's it's incredible. And um I like like I said, there is supposedly like a post game with a couple more things to do. And I know okay. I do know one thing that's gonna happen because it is just another uh, trope, but that's fine. Um but I love this you, game. I'm I'm you almost fight God at the end. That's well, the that's <laughs> if you don't fight, if you don't fight God, you're not playing a role playing <laughs> game. There you go. Like the, JRPGs always start with I lost my cat. Can you make this yeah. delivery for me? And then 40 hours later, can you stab God in the heart with the sword of legend? <laughs> like, I guess so. That's kind of what you've been telling me to do. I wish um, they would just change that slightly and have you stab God in the heart with the same, cat. That you were saying. The yeah. kitten in the heart. <laughs> the kitten with, was you God the entire God. time. Yeah, he was God <laughs> the whole time. You yeah. you, and you saved him five minutes in the game and you yeah. dragged him along. Um, yeah, so it's it's incredible. Like, if. <laughs> It's so good that like it's a plus game, obviously. Um, so I'm gonna lose yeah, that. It's... I'm gonna lose that in a month. Yeah. <laughs> um, because fuck that service now. No, so I, I will. I will buy it. Oh yeah, I'm canceling it's... that real soon too. Yeah, it's I on canceled uh... it that day, Ryan. Like I was like, I'm out. Yeah, it's... no way. I I knocked Same. mine down to the, what the whatever the standard Eight. tier to, to you play have online. To, have to play online yeah. and for cloud saves and um, um but I it's on Game it. Pass too. I will buy it. And it's like. Good. Yeah, and like that's the thing. Like I've already told myself, like if it leaves Game Pass, like I'll just buy it because I am going to play it. But it came out literally a, yeah, the same day as that Starfield early access. I think what like, I'm going to do, and this and this lends to more of that. Like I don't collect sealed games, but I'm also an idiot. Um, <laughs> there's a physical copy of that in Japan, okay. so I'm just going to buy that. They're released. Uh, they did announce a physical copy for the states too. Oh, they did. Okay, great. Okay, yeah. <laughs> which, which bummed me out a, just a little bit. Because yeah. I kickstarted the game and specifically oh, okay. kickstarted it so I could have a physical copy. And mm. then uh, right after they released it, they're like, by the way, this spring, physical copies for everybody. <laughs> hey, that's like when I when they announced Shenmue 3 and I said, hell yeah, I'll back that. And it's like, wait, you can just buy that? Why did I do that? 
<laughs> but yeah, I definitely want something. I'll buy a physical copy because it's worth. Yeah, buying. I'll probably do that too yeah, at that point. Really so, but that's the only major set. I played a lot of other boring random random. Garbage, but yeah. yeah. Well, I'm gonna. I'm just gonna ask Matt. <laughs> just do it, man. Because you put it on here. Just do it. <laughs> Ratatouille for Game Boy Advance. Guess, what, what, what's going on? Random yeah. garbage. What's yeah. up, man? <laughs> <laughs> what's going on here? So I just man, I got a wild hair on my ass. I was uh, looking through all my Game Boy games, and I realized I hadn't played the Advance that I bought. And I was. A, I'm a big fan of Ratatouille. Um, I actually have the intention on. So I have a tattoo on my right leg of Mr. Potato Head okay. with like a fitted cap and as like one a, does. Yeah, yeah, as one does. It's like it's a big in the book heavy in every tattoo shop yeah. you go. It's the first yeah. one. Um but it's, he's it's that like, and, the, and the mom in the heart. Like yeah, those are the two know. most common <laughs> tattoos to you. So I decided to myself, I was like, you know what? Um I have something dumb on this side of my leg, so I have to get something dumb on the opposite side of it. <laughs> So I was like, well, what if I got Ratatouille, because he's one of my favorite characters, holding like a big machine gun like Scarface, you know, suited up and like just like say hello to my little friend. And I just happened to be looking through my games and I saw that I had Ratatouille for Game Boy Advance. And I was just like, you know what, let's just plug this in and see what this is about. <laughs> um, it is it is hot trash. But- OK, <laughs> what is the that point was my the next question? Like, what kind of game is it? So because in my head it would it, be like half platformer, platformer, half cooking. So yes, it is okay. like yes. It, 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 <laughs> I was gonna say I love it. Like you, so a lot of it is um, platforming. Um, you collect like your main goal in each level is to collect one sp- specific vegetable. Okay, and right. Okay. Then the, like the next one is like a cooking type of phase. Um, all throughout every level you just collect a bunch of cheese but it doesn't affect anything that happens like in game like it's not regenerating your health or anything you hit you don't do shit i got like 70 pieces of cheese on a level one time and not nothing happened (laughs) like there's no life bar there's nothing that keeps you alive you literally you're jumping over rat traps you're jumping over like little i guess rodent poison bombs like you're really not doing much of anything in this game. yeah um but uh you know like i'm like nah maybe like an hour in and i kind of feel like i need to see it through just to see oh, what God. happens turns out it's 30 hours and at the end of the game you kill him <laughs> with a stock of kill. Oh, God. <laughs> so i uh yeah so i just like i figured you know because uh my my kid goes to bed kind of late some nights and i take a minute to unwind but I don't want to like turn on my Xbox in my bedroom because I don't want to yeah, wake my sure. wife and I don't want to yeah. wake him. So I, that's why I was just like, you know what? There's got to be something I can just randomly start playing. So I just, in my head, I'm like, you know what? Maybe I'll just start playing through some of these Game Boy games that I got go. so I can just kind of kill time when I fucking sleep. Um, and Ratatouille so yeah, that, was the first one you Ratatouille stopped Ratatouille was the first one <laughs> so that decided good, he to got rid of up. the rest of his Game Boy Advance games. Yeah, I said, fuck <laughs> this. I don't need these games anymore. Ratatouille is my life. Ride or die, Ratatouille. Um, then I I ended up buying WWE 2K23 because it yeah, was like it was the, on the sale. deluxe edition was fifty percent, and I was yeah. like, "Well, shit, you can't you can't beat that." And then you know Bray Wyatt passing away, I kind of yeah. felt like I needed to buy the game to just kind of you know honor him. And um, uh, it's it is so I played the demo when it was released or when it open for that one weekend and it was, yeah. it was it was interesting it was fun but um i jumped into it again it's, it's the basis you know rinse and repeat from wwe 2k22 to 23 but i i i feel like the gameplay is just a lot smoother than 22 was um they still got the my faction they still got the gm uh is the or- gm mode a little more fleshed out because i know last year when i when i did that it just seemed like it was over really fast <laughs> I haven't. I haven't. Okay, it you in tried to watch, I've like, I've watched a lot of stuff on it. It is significantly more fleshed out. Okay, cool. Like okay. yeah, twenty two was like <laughs> no. You can play over multiple right seasons, away. so like nice. it can continue. Okay. Um, there's a lot more like 
modes. It's up to it's four player now. That's, there's a lot. Nice. You can do that's with it. that's on my like short Black Friday list for games. Yeah. Is, yeah, is that in the AEW one? So, well, I mean, the AEW one is like ten bucks now. On I, you know, I'm going to check when I go to Walmart this weekend <laughs> and see if I can find this like hidden deal on that. I yeah. bet you it's only the Switch version, and if it is, I still want you to it buy is. it. So. Oh yeah, no, I like, like that's the thing. Like, I will still buy it, and then on Black Friday, I will buy it for PlayStation or Xbox because that's where I would really want to play. Because I, I just, I don't think like, do you think the Switch version that's good? No, it's impossible. Or do you think it's like, or do, yeah, I was gonna say, or do you think it's like anytime they've released any other wrestling or sports I don't game? Know, man, on because Switch. when you really think about it, like the 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 graphics and the way the gameplay is, I can't see how it would not fit the Switch's kind of okay. Like, I just, it's not a Mortal Kombat 1 situation. Yeah, well, I, I mean, mean yeah. what could be? Jesus, God, no. Um, but yeah, uh, I went ahead and started playing that again. I haven't decided to dive into GM mode. I was playing like a lot of the um, just single player stuff to kind of get my feel back into it. Yeah. Uh, I did play a War Games match. That is really hectic and kind of crazy. Uh, did but it? I'll, did go it go on too long? So you were like, it, like everybody's losing their stamina, but nobody's going down. Like so one of those where you're like, just end. Like, I forgot no, somebody how get pinned so I can be done. Yeah, I forgot how <laughs> war games is played. You know, okay. like I, I wasn't even thinking about it, and like you had to wait until everybody was in the actual <laughs> match before yep. someone could take a pin. Which is okay. it's not bad, but it's not great because like. You know, when you start it, you're going through everybody and then you have to just kind of like make sure you get to the first person who started the match with you. Because if not, you're fighting someone who's like fully health and yeah, fully revived exactly. and shit. And, and I will <laughs> say this, I, I feel like the uh, the computer is a little better. Okay. in this one than it was in 22 year. yeah okay. I, I can say i've effectively lost a couple of matches which has pissed me off especially when i lost to hulk hogan i felt like that should have never happened um but i mean you know shit happens uh all in all though it's i will say it is fun uh i picked like i said i picked it up 50 percent off and i was just like yeah. i can't say no to that one well, you also so. get all the DLC stuff that they're doing, too, because it's the yeah. deluxe one, right? That's cool. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I got all the DLC packs, and everything's unlocked, so I don't have to really do anything. I just got to actually play it. So I think I'm going to tamper with uh, the GM uh, mode this week, because I did have a lot of fun with that last year in 22 when I was playing that. Uh, but like you said, it was short, so it was it just kind of whack. whack. <laughs> um, but then I, I also started playing Dying Light again. Yeah. Yeah, I, uh, I really want to get into Dying Light too, and I feel like uh, my brain will not allow me to put it in until I finish one at least. Mm -hmm. uh, but then I realized playing that game, why I wasn't a fan of it. Uh, <laughs> fucking when it's pitch black at night and you're fucking running away from those big fucking zombie dudes, and they're like at every fucking turn. Yeah, nighttime is very uh, scary. It is in that horrible, game. man. Yeah. Like. I was literally running. I felt like my heart was racing. I felt like yeah. I was running myself. And I don't run for anything but the ice cream truck and the taco truck. So <laughs> I was like. Which is weird because those don't even move. Like, yeah, you're exactly. there and you're still running. <laughs> you can take your time to get there and yeah. it'll be okay. No. They I see like... you coming. Like, they're going to wait. <laughs> but yeah. But yeah. it's So I hear good things about two. So I figured I needed to go through it. And so yeah. that, that's going to be on my list of stuff to go through. All right. But that's how, about, what I've done. how about you, Ryan? What have you been a uh, little bit you've been able to play? A lot of <laughs> retro stuff recently. So uh, just to kind of get me back into playing stuff, uh, me, my brother, and a couple of our friends were kind of doing a competition this year to okay. uh, to beat as many games as possible. And the points are kind of done based off of uh, how long to beat, which okay. I know is not, oh, yeah. the, it's not okay. the perfect way to do it. But like... <laughs> You know, we didn't want to do just only beating games because you can beat thousands of five minute right. games and when, you know, we want it to be the hours based. <laughs> uh, so I've been going through a lot of retro stuff recently. Um, uh, I beat Super Mario Land for Game Boy for the first time ever. I never Ooh, actually I that game. played that. Yeah, Good it's one. short and sweet and simple. Yeah. There's not a whole lot of lot to it, but it's just so weird compared to yeah. any other like retro mario there's yeah, like because it it's like very there's strange a stone like whatever the the easter island heads are there which were in every game submarine Legally, they had to be for a while yeah you're up you're there's a there's like shooting levels and stuff yeah. it's it's like real world like you're in egypt you're in yeah it's yeah. very it's very strange but but Super i enjoyed it game. 
Um, well, my brother came out to visit uh, for about a week or so. We went to a Dolphins Chargers game. We're both Dolphins fans. They played it here in L.A. Uh, so he came out and we played uh, Sky Force Reloaded. Um, okay. It's a, a, a shoot 'em up. Uh, it's a remake. It was an old, like I think, mobile game initially, and then they okay. did like a like console and PC ports for it. It was like 2017. It's just it's just a cool shooter. It's kind of like a roguelike. You have to kind of keep going through it to like get collectibles mm. and get your plane stronger okay. to get through the higher levels. We had a lot of fun with that. Uh, replay Dr. Mario. Um, nice. Uh, that, that's a game when I can't think of a game to play. I will yes. usually just yeah. <laughs> play Dr. Mario. I really enjoy it. And then the last couple of days, I just uh, went through a season of Tecmo Super Bowl for the NES. Oh, sweet. Yeah. That's good. I think that's I the just, only way I'm ever going to see the Dolphins actually win a Super Bowl is, uh, is if I do it. So. As a Lions fan, I do play a lot of Tecmo oh. Super, Super Bowl on uh, Super Nintendo, so I get my Barry Sanders stuff. In, so, but, exactly. Uh, yeah. Uh, it's good. I was just thinking the Super Mario Land, like the other thing that's unique about that game, like the the like the music in that game, like that main little theme from the first it's level really good. always sticks in my head. Yeah. It's so like it's iconic, but like it's iconic and different enough from other Mario games. Mm-hmm. It still sticks out to this day. It's a weird so. like outlier that you can tell probably wasn't really meant to be a Mario game when they were working on it. Or if it was, they it- really like shrunk it down. But it seems like they're doing that stuff with Super Mario Wonder as well. Yeah. Like they're doing something different. That's why I'm really excited for that because mm-hmm. it's, it really seems like they're trying to do another 2D ish Mario, but do something really different. So, yeah. Yeah. yeah I, I'd say uh, Super Mario World or Wonder might be one of my most anticipated games. Like, yeah. I got like, super like all, excited. All, this, all this stuff like Starfield and all that, like I want to play, but it's hard for me to carve out 200 hours for right. something right now right. super mario wonder is not going to be 200 hours no <laughs> you know <laughs> so, so i feel like that and uh, and mario rpg are probably my that two was... most exciting because mm-hmm. because they're both going to be what 20 hours probably <laughs> that was yeah, the nintendo that was the nintendo direct that blew up my cell phone because i have every <laughs> single person i know that plays video games like oh god like mario rpg like i have a friend i haven't talked to in like five years text me like mario rpg's <laughs> coming back like i've yeah. talked to you in like five years yeah like, it's insane so but i man i am excited for mario rpg like that that came out of nowhere like i would have been happy if they just would have been like hey we put it on that switch online service if you want to play it again right or yeah. if they were like if, but then when it like change to the remaster i'm like they're really doing this like, yeah wow yeah. the the only so. reason i thought there was an inkling that eventually a remake or something would be made is because it wasn't on nintendo switch online yeah because it was on the super nintendo mini so I, yeah. like, I didn't have any kind of rumor or inside information or anything it was just a gut feeling that i'm yeah. like they clearly have worked with square or whoever like you know whatever right. weird things because it's on this the their super nintendo mini that they put out so like clearly they can do it. Yeah. They're not doing it for a reason. It seemed it was a weird, weird uh, blind spot for a while. It was one well, of those things I'm, where they just it always seemed like happened. that was the kind of game where it was going to exist in that in the point in time where it came out and it eventually turned into Paper Mario and they were just going to keep moving forward with that stuff. And you know, and then it became with well, Square made it, but it's a Nintendo game. Who technically has to remake it at that point? Because that stuff always gets weird. But yeah. yeah, when that screen transitioned into the deuce, I was like, oh, my God. <laughs> and then it just and I loved it because it then just did like that super quick cut of like, here's this scene. Here's this scene. Here's this scene. And you're like, because you all you all remember all this shit. And then just like, yeah. oh, OK. And it immediately sold just that the trailer immediately sold a million copies of that well, game that, just by existing. Oh, yeah, for sure. I just like to then the very next direct. They're like, well, we're, we're going to do the the thousand year door remaster or remake, too. Yeah, fuck it. Like, we got to get that out. Like, let's, wait, let's just do them all. Like at the, at the end <laughs> yeah. of the switch here. <laughs> I, I, I know so. we'll probably talk about it a little bit more later. Yeah. But at first, I was not that excited about the thousand year door remake because I like when I first saw it through the direct, I'm like, it kind of looks exactly the same. Okay. But yeah, but, but then bit. when but then when I saw like the you know some comparison videos. It kind of really is a testament to how good the GameCube game was mm-hmm. okay. that that yeah. it took me actually seeing a side by side to be like, OK, I see the improvements because right. the GameCube game still <laughs> looks pretty damn good. Because you, rem- yeah, like you remember yeah. but- that game being great when it was out. So it might yeah, so that I game saw it, always I was like, looks good. Like, like I'm, I'm always happy to be able to play stuff on modern hardware. It's just easier to do. Right. So I was excited in that standpoint, but I was like, yeah, it kind of looks samey. It's fine. But I'm like, no, it, it's got a pretty nice, fresh coat of paint on it. It looks pretty good. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 
no, I'm I'm excited about that too. I have actually not played that. That is like on my list of shame of games I have not played. So that'll be the first time I get to play Paper Mario Thousand Year Door. I did play the sixty four. There was a sixty four one, right? Yeah, that was where it started. That okay, that was really, the one I played. Great too. And then you know we, I think we all got tricked by that three DS one. Oh god, which, that game, which wasn't very good. Yeah, very so. upsetting. <laughs> it's was still that, on my that, shelf because it's part paper of the jam. No, that that's stick, that sticker, no. Star. sticker, sticker star. star. That game it's was awful. Not great. Yeah. But so. and then they made Super Paper Mario, which I love, but most people hate. That's fine. Yeah, they, the, the, the GameCube. I played the Wii U one. I got about halfway through. It's not yeah. terrible. It's not. It's not what people wanted. So it, cause it has no, a weird yeah. card system. Yeah, but like. It's pretty and it's aesthetically. It's got the humor. It's got that part. But yeah, it's the it's the battle. Nobody wanted to use cards. And that's what like Sticker that. Star had a problem with is you had to use stickers to fight stuff. But the problem was is you could run out of stickers, so yeah. you'd have to leave and go get more stickers to come back. It's like no, there needs to be basic stuff and then stickers enhance it. Yep, yeah. not the other it's way just... around. It's just awful. Couldn't play that game. Well, we can we can jump into the big lot of news that we have because a lot of a big lot of stories. shit has happened in there's a lot weeks. of big yeah. stories so we'll start i mean we'll start off with some some smaller ones but we have a lot of big ones um i put this in here just because like i'm sure this happens more frequently than we know but it i don't think it becomes public knowledge very often and that's why i put it in here that that ubisoft x defiant game has been delayed because it was rejected by both playstation and xbox certification which <laughs> seems crazy but that, again that, like, that, that made it immediately made me think and, and and i always say these kind of things with a caveat i'm sure making games is hard i don't know oh, how to yeah. make a game i don't have that skill set i'm not saying like it's easy but like ubisoft is not a small studio for instance no and when you look at any storefront of you know whether it's nintendo <laughs> switch or mm-hmm. psn or xbox with how much fucking garbage yes <laughs> it's just an, how bad does your game have to be broken yeah where, where, my... where they're like no well i mean look <laughs> we at don't it. didn't we it. just get rid of golem yeah yeah <laughs> that, yeah, made yeah, it that, out. that yeah. got through with no problems well i mean it has <laughs> problems but it got on through the, the playstation store has those like millions of like free platinum games where it's like the jumping burrito which is a game where you press x a thousand times yeah, to get yeah. A platinum. how did that pass because it technically I, works i guess i guess that's not the only requirement i was thinking of that uh that black tiger game or whatever that's on the ps4 that was getting all the shit last generation oh that was another yeah. one where it's like how did this pass certification so that's why whenever i see articles like this i'm like how is this worse than that? Like, yeah, like either, what was that broken? Really, either they really <laughs> clamped down on what they, you know, allow, or it's just a mess. It's got you know, one or the other. Yeah, crazy wrong with it. Mm-hmm. Um, this is, I'm not surprised by this at all, that Immortals of Avium game had poor sales, led to layoffs of that specific part of EA. Shocker. I'm not shocked. Um, this, this is another game that's on my Black Friday list, just because I'm curious. I want to play it, but... I knew when it came out, it would like just just from watching the trailers. I'm like, this this is gonna I, be a game that is on sale really fast. I'm really confused so. how we live in a point now with like <laughs> where news is instant, video game news is instant. Trailers get immediate reactions from everyone. That somebody who worked at that studio didn't see like where the product was going and how it was gonna be. Didn't just go up to other people and be like, guys, I don't. Something's <laughs> not gonna work here. Like this doesn't. This isn't what people want. Like nobody said that, not one person, or was that person yeah. said that and they were fired? But f- from what I understand, and and, and not about this specifically, but yeah. just like I have a I have a couple of friends who work in pretty like high sure. level development. Yeah. You know, sometimes those decisions are just made so much higher above you. It's yeah. like no, we've yeah. already put this much money in. Like like they they understand as they're working on it. This isn't working the way that I think that like this is not this this isn't coming together. But we've already put a hundred million dollars yeah. into this. We can't well, just restart from scratch. It's like we gotta make something out of this. Well, and that was movie studios up until you know a year ago <laughs> when DC yeah. and when Universal and DC finally started. Let's go nuclear and just start deleting shit off of the servers yeah. as fast as yeah. possible. <laughs> so, but yeah, video game. It's just like this. Immor- like you could have. The first trailer I looked at this game, it was just like, 
that is going to be one of the most like mid tier games to ever exist. And then it, it reminds me of that B level tier game from the 360 era. That's why I'm excited yeah, to play it because like true. you don't get a lot of those games anymore today. Because that was that, a that genre whole, at the time. Yeah, yeah. it yeah. just doesn't exist yeah. anymore because it's either they're putting so much money into it, it's AAA or it's an indie game. But it was so, but it was funny yeah. because there was a sweet spot you could hit with games like Enslaved. Remember that? Like that wasn't that was a, a good big one. title yeah. game, but it was a mid tier like. That could be fun, kind of a thing, but I was thinking of like Red Faction, like well, that, yeah, those that games level, too. yeah. But now they're yeah, all right. like, go well, ahead. I, I was gonna say, as somebody who like, I love playing a good six, you know, yeah. a good six out of ten. <laughs> yeah. like, so there, there's some fun to be had there. the The problem that I kind of just am observing now is that, like, unfortunately, a game can't be a six because <laughs> you're either an indie. Where if you're not a ten, no one ever notices you anyway. You have yeah. to like be such yeah, an right. ex- like accelerated game, or you can't be a triple A six because that game costs two hundred million dollars to make. <laughs> right, so you can't be a mid. So like, yeah. everything has to be a ten. Like there used to be, like you said, the sweet spot where it's like, ah, yeah. eh, we put a little money into this and we made a little game, and it's a six or seven out of ten, and it's fun, and that's what it is, and like everyone's happy. Right now, it's like so much. And we're fine. Yeah, there's so yeah. much money put into it that like if you if it's not a you know, if it's not Boulder's Gate 3, if it's not Tears yeah. of the Kingdom, if it's not Red Dead Redemption, <laughs> well, whatever, you see, it has to be this level. You see lately, especially with, like, other AAA titles where, like, 3 million copies isn't enough. Oh, yeah. 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 Copies isn't if, if enough. If I see one Four more Square enough. Enix fucking press release where they're like, <laughs> it didn't meet sales, uh, didn't meet sales expectations when it sold, like, 5 million the, the first week or whatever. the first week. <laughs> Yeah. How could it not have made it? So, but like, it's like it's almost like anything released on disc. If it's not a nine or a ten, it's already failed. Mm. Yeah, it's just it's unfortunate. Um, we can we can dive into the huge like I I guess this would probably be the biggest thing that happened. It's the biggest the, thing uh, happened in a long time. The yeah, Microsoft there's... leak, where we basically know. We don't know everything, but we know a good outline of what they're planning for, like, the next decade, basically. Um, and it, it is important to note, like, it, later in the day, Phil Spencer finally came out and he made his comment of, like, you know, the, the plans changed. A lot of this stuff has changed. And that's kind of it. They're not well, really talking more. But, and they don't really need to. I don't think they really yeah, need to. No, nor, should, no. nor should they. <laughs> I, the, the way that you kind of deal with something like this is you just – Lower your head. You maybe make one statement, and you're yeah. like, "Yeah, that sucks, right?" And then you just power through and do it. Because in the grand <laughs> scheme of things, outside of nerds like us, no one gives a shit, right? No, <laughs> you know, you know, you know. It, some, my, someone's mom that's buying their kid a game console or whatever does not care that a leak was like, like, no. It's only yeah. for people like us yeah. that yeah. care. So you just kind of <laughs> let it go, and you, you, you maybe smile and not like, "Well, that was embarrassing," and then you move on. <laughs> well, it's just, and it's also like, what do you want him to come out and say? Like, yeah, I sent that email four years ago. <laughs> yeah, I bet you did. I it mean, was four years ago. Like, yeah. I think things change we'll, every day. We'll go through the major bullet points, but I think my favorite thing out of all of it was uh, the Game Pass. Uh, just, just you kind of see a little bit of how their Game Pass dealings work, but the fact that they were willing to pay fifty-five million dollars for Gotham Knights Day One, and WB said no, <laughs> is a mistake on WB's Whoops. part. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> as someone who's played that, that is a mistake on their part. They should have done that. Uh, but we will dig in. So the the first big big reveal, Elder Scrolls Six, is an Xbox console exclusive. That's not surprising. I kind of, it's always been like the thing that I've always said as we've talked about this, as, as we've gone on the podcast in the past is like when they bought Bethesda, you don't get the keys or something like that and not lock things like this down. Right. So I'm not surprised, but I would think even if there was an inkling at some point that they might put the game out on PlayStation, I think with everything that happened with ABK, they were like, no, and they took that right. off the table. So. I, think, I think it was probably planned beforehand where it was like, we should probably just make this an exclusive. And then when Sony, when all this shit went down, they finally just said, yeah, it's like, fuck it. Like, um, the one that I threw in here that was just like, <laughs> like, like one of those just like, no, no, like everybody fucking knows this. Activision was briefed on the Switch successor late last year. Like I'm, these yeah. companies see so, this shit yeah, so, so far. Yeah, in every yeah. company. <laughs> yeah, like, duh. The, like, the one that I, I don't, it wasn't the biggest thing revealed, but the, the thing that I've thought has been the funniest thing to watch people lose their their minds about. 
Phil Spencer says he really wants to buy Nintendo. Yeah, that's well, that. That has been my favorite too. No shit, <laughs> of course. Like, like, of course does. like, like, if Nintendo was for sale, and then that's the thing, Nintendo's not going to sell because not they don't anymore. want to and they don't yeah. need to. Like, they just right. don't. It's not going to happen. But like, if you're someone like Phil Spencer, you have you th- you told me Jim Ryan would not try to buy <laughs> Nintendo yeah. if that no, was we'll like pass, we'll available. Pass on Mario. Yeah, 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 we don't think so. All right, no, he'd now, be hopping but, on his jet, yeah. and flying over there as fast as he yeah. can. I, like, like it, it doesn't mean that they made any real serious like no dents into getting it means them. Nothing. Like, but 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 if like I'm sure they have this big list of goals that they set out. Sure, here's what's obtainable. Here's what we think we can get done. Here's things we could work. It's maybe it won't happen, but we have. And then here's things that like pie in the sky. If right. crazy thing, you if know, we no could one pull thought that off. WWF right. was going to buy WCW and that happened yeah. eventually. But like, right. I, I'm sure it's like, of course I want to buy Nintendo. Right. <laughs> Let me buy Nintendo. Let's pull our right money up. and buy Nintendo yeah. right now. <laughs> Yeah, but I think he literally said it was like a dream career goal of his or something like that. That's how I took right. it. It's like, well, oh, he's just what the, that's what was blown off steam with off. a friend or something. That's yeah, like was, people were pissed off because like, well, he's seeing this as like a career achievement. Yeah, because it fucking is one. <laughs> it, the ABK <laughs> deal is a career Nintendo? achievement. Like as of right now, there like, was there was one time <laughs> there was one time in in my like life while I was working at Game Freeze on stuff where I was like, right after the GameCube had kind of ended and you know nintendo was clearly in third place and yeah. really their biggest thing going for was the game boy advance was huge nothing could beat the game boy advance and the yeah, ds man. at that point was coming and they always like, you could never you could never zone. kill them in handheld but imagine the wii do- isn't a success imagine nobody gets on <laughs> to like the remote control bullshit which we all know in retrospect Grandma. now was not very good but at, Grandma's but, not playing but, bowling but it caught yeah. on like wildfire and it pretty much saved that company from a hardware standpoint but imagine an alternate universe where it doesn't wouldn't it have made more sense for nintendo to just be like here's here's what we should do we should just make the handheld stuff because we know what we're doing and then we become like at the time sega we just say, publish yeah. our, we just let other people publish our stuff on their no, system. mario is everywhere that could have yeah, made you know. that would have arguably made more sense if the Wii had failed but it didn't and then it allowed them to make to fail with the Wii U, but it didn't matter because the cash had already been banked. Yeah, and then the well, switch I, flipped I, it back I, the I, other way. I, I know it's like a, a rumor thing. I'm sure there's no guarantee, but like, can't like Nintendo lose money for like 50 years and still have? Yeah, you know, it's, like like they're, I, they're, I, they're, I they're fine. It's 50 years, but but, yeah, but they're it, okay. It's, know, they're like at they're, a point now where I think the merchandising alone probably keeps them afloat oh, because you gosh. can't you can't walk down two aisles in a Target without seeing. Mario, Mario t-shirt stuff. Mario yeah. backpack exactly. Mario pencil whatever <laughs> but they could have easily like ridden it ridden handhelds and merchandising and been like yeah why don't we just put Metroid Prime on Xbox yeah and like I that would have been a win-win too. for everybody because Xbox has at the time they have live they have a built-in online server like but obviously that's not what happens they can afford yeah. to fail now <laughs> and it doesn't matter anymore yeah but for that, for people to get upset at a company wanting to That's buy another company one. to strengthen their own company is insane. Get yeah. over it, guys. Had they, had <laughs> they not had they not bought Activision, let's let's say they hadn't done this ABK thing, and then an email came out where Phil said he wanted to buy Nintendo. Would anybody even be this mad? No, no. They're just yeah. mad because he just did it. He just bought something else that they treasure for you know five or six games. <laughs> Call um, of Duty franchise now Diablo. On the flip side of that, the thing I think people should be a little more upset about is the mid-gen refresh systems because it's very glaring and, and like I mean it's not just like documents leaked like we have pictures of there's this a stuff picture and of it. Yeah. yeah there's a picture of it but uh the mid generation refresh that they were saying they were not doing it, it, I mean of course they're doing it PlayStation Sony they're doing it why would you not uh, we just don't know what it is yet but um the thing that so like it's it, it, there's no disk drive that's that's the bummer for me it's like I, like I can understand when we get to 2028 all right fine like right. we've we've played the game long enough I guess it is what it is but to do this mid generation seems like a huge mistake but if you look at the specs, and that was the thing I didn't look at at first, I just saw this. I'm like, okay, of course, great. This is what it's going to be. 
It's just a Series X without a disk drive. With more storage. They with, took out with, the disk drive they, to they did the, the smart money thing. to put more storage in it. They did the smart yeah. thing of giving it a 2 terabyte SSD, which if it's an all-digital system, you need to have a lot of storage. But and it has a it has a dedicated USB C port on the front, which the PlayStation Five has that currently. So, but like the rest of it, like a little bit better Wi Fi card. I, I don't have my system hooked up Wi Fi, so for me that doesn't matter. But like it just, I look at it more as a bummer of like, are we really going to try mid this generation of consoles to to go all digital and just be like we're done with it? Like I just, it looks it seems- nice at least. I think it looks yeah, pretty. I like, it, nice I, like, I like it being, yeah, the rounded, I think, is a little bit <laughs> that, better. The, the little cylinder thing. Like, well, because it doesn't yeah. have to have, you know, the square disk drive in it anymore. So it can be any shape it wants. But it's like an old Mac Tower. Um, I like that the Series S just is the same thing. It just has a USB-C port on the front instead. Well, it's literally the same looking system. Like, they didn't change the design of that. But, and then um, there's, there's going to be a new controller. controller That's probably the most good. exciting yeah. because yeah. it has the... Um, it's gonna have the haptic feedback, like the dual sense, which is cool. Um, it has a it has a removable rechargeable battery, which that's is perfect. cool. That's what it needed that's to the, have. That's probably the other thing that I was like, two okay. generations. The the, the the Xbox controller is my favorite controller to use, but that is such a pain in the ass. Like 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 the amount of like rechargeable battery ports yeah. I have for everything <laughs> right now is just uh it's a, it's mad. So I bought I to get around that for me. I bought these um. Razor makes them the the like uh, stands where you they have different colors for whatever color controller you have and you just slap it on there when you're done playing and you plug it in and it charges. That's what I've done. That's what generation. I do with my PlayStation. Yeah, but like yeah. yeah, the Xbox like it just seems like we should have had this fixed during. Yeah, last the generation Xbox I I phase. played the I played the double A rechargeable game and like I I couldn't say how many if rechargeable double A batteries. If they would have just too. made them have <laughs> internal rechargeable batteries and made them cost. Ten dollars, fifteen dollars more. Fine, man. Whatever. I save it in batteries. Oh yeah. But the control. I'd say out of everything here, the controller looks cool. I'll buy so a controller. I'm, I'm a, yeah, I will get one of those for sure. Um. So they're planning. So to get into that a little bit more, they're planning to do this next year. It looks like in August. At least this is the timeline from the leaked documents. So subject to change, but August they would put out the Series S refresh. And then October, they would put out the uh, Series X refresh. Um, so they give a little bit of leeway in between both systems. Um, another one that uh, the one of these of these two has been rumored for for a little bit, but uh, Fallout, both Fallout Three and Elder Scrolls Four Oblivion are going to get remasters. Um, Do it. The Oblivion one has been rumored for a little bit here. Well, uh, which I, I like that today an article came out because the first thing I saw when they're like, OK, this actually looks like it's real. What are those people that are making Sky Oblivion for 10 years think about this? Because like they said that they're going to they, they're going to finish. They're it. cool with it. Yeah, they're yeah, fine. they're going to finish fine. it. And they totally should. Yeah. 10 years like and they're this close to being done. So um, as I've been extremely excited for that, that cool. I, Oblivion is my favorite. Even after playing Starfield, Oblivion is still my favorite of those games. So um, I will play a remaster of both of those. Yeah, I would like, too. No question. No question. So um, and then, you know, towards the end of this year, Xbox is planning to release a new next gen console in 2028. We've kind of been rumored for a while. 2028 would probably be the start of whatever the next generation yeah. of consoles is. So not really su- that part of it. Not really surprising. Um, they are talking about it being kind of a cloud hybrid system, which that part has me concerned <laughs> yeah. because at this point, if it's going to be digital and that and that is what I have to accept, yeah. please let me download the games. Yeah. Please let it yeah. be an option. Don't just make it a cloud. We're gonna. I, I really it, don't want it. it, it in fairness, we'll, we'll be four or five <laughs> years ahead. Who knows where cloud will be then? Like, like yeah. I, I think it's hard to think. Like you're thinking in the context now. Yeah. God no, yeah. I don't want to play. No, a cloud <laughs> based system gotta, right now. But in five years, like I hope. You know, I hope who knows? It's got to take, take some pretty significant steps to be able to. I think function the way they want it to function in five years. But is it possible? If if this is the direction that they are going, it's likely the main thing they're working on when it comes to this console. Because the hardware, if you think about it, like the hardware doesn't even really have to be anything that much better than currently exists. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Like the hardware, the physical hardware inside the box is 
like it'll obviously be whatever the graphics card is in five years, whatever the processor is in five years. But the streaming is all is is more important than what's actually inside that box because I'm sure it is. It. So I don't. Well, know. It could, and it only it only is confirmed because that leaked controller that's coming out actually has like the ability direct to cloud. Yeah, that actual controller is going to do that. So kind of if you remember back to the the, the uh, very ill time Stadia, which I think they were just too far <laughs> ahead. Yeah, uh, that came out way too early, way too early. But that controller did that. So I'm not surprised that that's going to do this. Um, there's there's some other like minor things in here. Red Dead Redemption 2, they apparently at some point it was on the table. They were going to do a next gen update for that. Obviously, that didn't happen. Um, and then, the, of course, the thing that I laugh about at the very, very bottom of it is, and this came out, of course, after the leaks, right. is that the FTC just blames Microsoft for the leaks, which like, eh. Well, it, 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 like, I, I guess, like, not, maybe not in here, but Microsoft did come out and say that it was them. Yeah. I, I, which, I, I do think that was part of Phil's thing. Like, but, but I, yeah, the FTC was probably smart to get ahead of it, though, because I think a lot oh, of people God, have yeah. this, this view that the FTC is you know sore losers because basically because like say what you want about whether you're pro this this purchase or not the ftc embarrassed themselves yeah big time lot, 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 like, <laughs> very much lot, like whether you agree that like you know consolidation that's sure. a different argument altogether but the ftc was clearly clueless about what extreme. was going on and, right. and they extremely. seemed like they were bad losers about we it we talked too. about it a lot with like when they when even when it was going through like the CMA process in the UK, it's, it really seemed like the people who were making these decisions had no idea what they were talking about or what actually was at the root of why this purchase may or may not be bad. Like they 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 tried to grab at every argument they could think of that maybe would seem anti-consumer, but yeah. a lot of it didn't even exist at the current time. Yeah. Like, well, yeah. maybe in ten years this thing will affect someone. Yeah, yeah. Well, I, I, I personally, I'm pretty pro this because, like, it doesn't because whatever. Like, the games, right. I'll be able to play the games. Like, yeah, it's pretty yeah. pro me. There'll be a lot of ways to play it. But like, there are things that you can complain about that might be bad news with this. And the FTC sure. and CMA just had. They're like, yeah, it's probably the cloud. That's and the that, thing that's bad. Uh, like, and then, and then so many like, other things. Define, that, yeah. define cloud gaming, and they'd be well, um. It's bad. Yeah. It's bad. Like, like, it. It, it reminded me of like how people argue politics. Yeah, where yeah. they'll make they'll oh, make God. up like weird conspiracy theories when it's like no, there's literal things yeah. that they do. Just talk about those. Th- no, you don't got to say that there, there are aliens. <laughs> that they're secret lizard people. Like that's not a thing. Like how about the thing they're actually doing? Talk the better, about that. What yeah, the better argument against like the, the buyout was like exclusivity rights and what that means for everybody but how is it handled today and how has it been handled in the past like there's a whole argument to be made about that and well, they, and i they always just said ignored. the biggest i always said the biggest thing that they overlooked at this is the mobile part of it right because that's what they're really getting the biggest piece My, of yeah. this pie microsoft on candy crush and stuff candy like money. that exactly. is going to make so <laughs> <Candy> much <laughs> money they're gonna make so, this money back real fast, man. You think they give a sh- <laughs> yeah? I have Call of Duty for ten years. Yeah, you think they like <laughs> like no? Because you know, like Call of Duty is successful. It's not sure. Candy Crush, no. honestly. It's not Mobile Division. No, that's it's that's just... that's the real money. And then Call of Duty, of course, they would keep that on PlayStation. They're not idiots. That game has oh, yeah. microtransactions. Yeah, it's best for that to exist in as many places as possible. Exactly. Something like Elder Scrolls Six or Starfield is a one-time purchase we control. Well, let's yeah. just put it on our service to get people to buy into a subscription service so that we continuously get money for a game. Mm-hmm. Like that's, yeah. you know, a physical sell, them selling copies of Starfield on PlayStation. They get a one time purchase of whatever the profit margin <laughs> is on one copy per sale. That's not yeah. the money. The money is money over the time. subscription now. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, then the last thing I'll throw out here, which which it, it, like this is like such a minuscule thing with everything else got leaked. But remember, they don't really Microsoft doesn't really like to report numbers anymore. Well, but uh, it should shock anybody that as of, I think, the end of last year, 75 percent of people that have bought a new Xbox system and bought the Series S. That doesn't shock anybody. No, because it's cheaper. That's the price point that people are going to buy in. And so. I, I think a lot of people don't uh, seem to like forget too that there was about 
maybe a year period where it was you could find they were getting the series those. s's out oh yeah they Everywhere. were super easy to find oh my god yeah, I, I lucked in, i lucked into getting my series x at launch because i had 12 I, yeah. different storefronts yeah open and i was refreshing yeah. tabs and walmart happened to work for me i didn't right. do anything special other than get lucky but then i didn't see a series x for a year right <laughs> at least yeah. you know and then they were barely out series s's I was seeing in stores every so often you'd go long, in. And, yeah, you know, there's like, three or yeah. four, and yeah, people could buy them. They were cheap. They, in theory, you know, in theory, play the same games as a Series X. How true that is anymore, we don't know. Um, well, we kind of well, know. I think the other thing too is you, you also had some people that were waiting to get a PS5, which was even worse to, right. of a wait for. That yeah. said, you know what, fuck it, I'll get this Series S thing in the meantime because right. it's so much cheaper and i can always get rid so, of it when i find a playstation exactly yeah. so but again all I, overall like a bunch of interesting things that got leaked from it um is it gonna damn them no, no. i've seen people like oh this is the end and, and like it'll no, be it's forgotten not. about in like a month it'll, it'll be forgotten about as fast as the 2011 psm blackout was yeah that yeah. i always oh. love to bring up because nobody remembers that <laughs> yeah yeah Six yeah that that, that 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 is one of those th- and i'm an <laughs> xbox guy if, if you had to ask me which one i am i'm more an xbox mm-hmm. guy xbox i mean the xbox one lo- it, it's crazy how what people will let go away and forget <laughs> about and what because yes. like the xbox one like announcement is oh, clearly God. embarrassing and was we, terrible. We bring it up they're, all the time. They still get yelled at it for it now. Right. PSN, everyone's credit cards and information. <laughs> and it was like, <laughs> and then like, but then, then in like a few months, they were like, yeah, but at least they don't want to make me keep my system on all the time. <laughs> or <laughs> monsters. Or they'll, or like, they'll, they'll go after like the Xbox One launch for being a, a huge mess, but they won't go after the PS3 what? launch. For being six hundred dollars, <laughs> where one of the executives said, ago. "If you can't afford it, get a second just get job. a second job." Just exactly. Go ahead. <laughs> Nobody I'm thinks hearing, about that yet. I, like, I will pay you double if you find one in stores. And then uh, Kotaku or somebody runs an article. It's like, well, we found fifteen of them in stores. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> we had we got edits two at it, the game crazy I worked at, and they were both returned because they couldn't sell them <laughs> online for double the price yeah yeah for for me it, i think it's a testament to how good of a job sony's done with the playstation brand mm-hmm. Be- because e- even now i feel that they make some really anti-consumer dumb decisions <laughs> oh, where you're God. like where you're, you're you're like what and people are just still like hell yeah spider-man's coming <laughs> <laughs> like that's all that's all they and, and, and i'm not i'm not mad at anyone that that's that person you don't have to care but sure. like, they'll do some stuff and you're like they're raising the PSN price is that much, and you're like, "Yeah, but we get a we get a new God of War every ten years, so that's cool." <laughs> yeah, hell yeah. I, or or they'll or they'll celebrate the fact that Spider Man's exclusive, but be really pissed off that Starfield isn't. That's that's a really good one. How yeah. dare you? Oh my god! Like it's just like come on, like you just <laughs> it's it's selective memory, selective like picking your own. What's Evidence. What's the yeah, last Spider Man game I got in an Xbox console? Isn't it Amazing Spider Man 2? I think Amazing uh, Spider Man 2. I think it is. And yeah. It, and exactly. it, remember, that almost didn't come out. Correct. It, 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 there's it was not like very a many of these. Decision. Yeah, yeah. There's not very many of these, but it's one of the few collectible Xbox One games. Yeah. yeah. Like that actually, yeah. you know, in yeah. resale market has. It some almost. Marvel it. and Xbox for a long time had this weird thing where like stuff almost didn't happen. I remember that yeah. almost happened with Lego. Remember Lego Marvel? at the Xbox one launch almost didn't happen either. And I then like, remember that literally like a week that, yeah. before it came out, they're like, no, actually we are going to release it for Xbox. Like, what? <laughs> yeah. I remember that week. being an, e- I remember that being an email yeah. or something. We when got we were something at the store. Was like, no, nah, actually it's going to come coming out. out. It's <laughs> we're going to have it next week. Like what? Well, I, I think we had canceled. reserves on it. Yeah, yeah. I had it. Reserved. That's crazy. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So it's, it's, it's like picking your fights and well, this fits my, it's, it's like that stuff. And, and gaming is such a weird and it's then Nintendo weird. just yeah. kind of exists in its own bubble where people yeah. think it does no wrong, <laughs> even though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. G- gaming's one of those. It's very, it's somehow, I think, worse than pro wrestling fans. <laughs> oh, because yeah, oh, sure. pro wrestling fans are very tribal and, and stuff. But like for video game and, and like any of these things, it's like just play your game. Like, why, why, do, why do you care what I like or I why do I care what you like? Just like. 
play your thing. Play video I, games. Who, like, what yeah. do you care about the systems at, and all this stuff? At, I don't. At the end of know. the day, none of this matters in any no. kind of like real important way. It's it's a fun hobby that we're all passionate about. Go right, play yeah. your get dumb games. I'll play my <laughs> dumb games. We all win. <laughs> Especially now when we live in a time where like. I can play Diablo 4 on my Xbox with Dan on his PlayStation right. together online. And it doesn't yeah. matter. Like, we're on different systems, man. And it doesn't and matter. We're using like, a third, and we're using a third-party chat app through the system <laughs> Discord. to do that. Imagine telling somebody that 10 years ago. That like, would have been PlayStation my, and yeah. Xbox is going to play together with a third-party app running on my phone through my system. What yeah. the hell are you talking Let's about? <laughs> But that's why that's how we normally that's, play games now, which is insane. exactly insane to think about. Um, I threw this in here just because I think it's funny. Uh, the Evil Dead game, they're done. Not surprising. Not su- uh, Switch version canceled. Aww, Again, not oh, surprised. No. Um, that's what I wanted to play it on, guys. As yeah. as I've said before, and that's my that's Here my I'm reservation with, with these games. <laughs> Again, Dead by Dead by Daylight. Why? Why are we making these other ones? Right? Yeah. Like, like they never even the Texas Chainsaw, which I saw they put out today. Like I think four million people played that in the first month, which that's great. What's it going to be like in three months? I think it'll hang on longer than some of these other because ones. Because it's on Game yeah. Pass. Because it's so on, it's on Game service. Pass. Yeah. Because yeah. It's, it's a, a lot of fun. I'm sorry. I yeah. need to try it. I haven't tried it um, yet. So it is, it is entertaining as shit. But like, it needs to get on the Dead by Daylight like content path where it's like next month is this, the month after which, is this, the month after is that. And Dead by Daylight yeah. has the freedom to be like, well, fuck it. It's Resident Evil and Scream and Alien and it's all this other shit. And then Texas Chainsaw is like, we added a second chainsaw. I mean, what yeah. else is there? <laughs> Evil Dead, it's like how many versions of Ash or the Deadites can a, you add? A new character, he uses um, hedge clippers. That's cool, right, guys? Like, it's just... <laughs> With that being said, where the I just thought of it. Where is this Killer Clowns game? It doesn't matter. Like, it's going to come out and be it's fun gonna for like a you, week and just be gone. Exactly. Yeah. And that's unfortunate. That'll be a cool that one, movie though. the other day. Yeah, I, 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 like that one's a weird one because like that that's niche <laughs> even for like a it horror. Is. Thing. Right. Like, I, like it. I, I like I'm not a horror movie guy, but I've heard of it at least. Yeah. yeah. Like, I, I know what it is. But like, you have to be a really big horror. Like, like Dead by Daylight is so like you were mentioning. It's so like encompassing right. that like there's gonna be like, oh, I, I've heard of Freddy Krueger. I know that like there might be something yeah, that's gonna make, grab you. You can make things fit into that property. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That but game uh, Killer Con, like it's so. I think that's why a lot of these don't do well. It's so right. narrow focused that yeah. like you, you. Some people I'm sure played it that didn't care about the movies or whatever. But generally yeah. speaking, like. I don't care about Friday the 13th. So why yeah. am I going to right. start a Friday the 13th? Whereas Dead by Daylight is like, oh, this is kind of cool. Well, it's like, uh, there's it's got all some of the different... other problems I think these games are running into is like Dead by Daylight is 4v1, right? Yeah. Texas Chainsaw is 4v3. So that's more people needed to fill a match. And I'm pretty sure I think Killer Clowns is 5v3 or something weird. I, it's, I I, no, so. it's weird because you can have three people play as clowns. So it's yeah. like 3v6 like six or so. It's something, something really It's weird. some kind of weird combination of numbers, but it's at a certain point, you're requiring too many people to be in one match. It's getting too weird. 4v1 yeah. is, is simple. And that was like Evolved did that. Left 4 Dead was kind of <laughs> like that. Like kind of. it's, you know, I think even Left 4 Dead was like 4v4 technically, but it's five versus three or seven versus four. Like, no, that's too many people. It's hard enough to get that for other games, let alone killer clowns from outer space. <laughs> yeah. I think it would have been best if they just made like a fucking normal campaign style game. Like, and that you, was the you, bummer you for me when that trailer that came out. on. Yeah. When I they was first, really I was like, about hell it. yeah, we're going to make a game out of that. That's such a random thing to make a game. Out. And they're like, it's a four B whatever. I'm like, oh, oh man, no, yeah. God, <laughs> another, another one. Exactly. Um, yeah, it's a, it's, it's a, it's a bummer. And like the evil dead game, I did play it. I did like it at the time it came out, but I said the same thing that I say with all those. It's, it, it'll be, out and done in in a year because oh, well, Dead by and Daylight those games so come exists. out and the other part with those games is they come out and you know they have a shelf life. They, there, I'll they also say Evil Dead has game. Evil Dead has stuff in Dead by Daylight. Right, like you can play as Ash yeah. in Dead by Daylight. Like it's it's absurd they decided let's make a game separate from this, but it is what it is. Um, 
I put this in here. I, I don't think any of us here are really big Fortnite players, but well, uh, that FTC, um, that that whole thing, I forgot that lawsuit that was going on. It was finally over or whatever. And, uh, people can claim refunds for unwanted in-game purchases. I think they have till the end of this year to do that. Um, but that was a huge thing that I like, I remember when it was going on and I think what happened is this ABK thing just kind of took over that for like gaming for like mm-hmm. people caring about a lawsuit. Yeah. So this kind of fell a little wayside. Um, but that being said, like I, I don't play Fortnite, so I don't, Oh man, I can get a refund really for fit. all the skins I bought. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know how it works. I'm sure, Fortnite. So. I'm sure Fortnite will suffer financially from this. Yes, right? very much. <laughs> and, 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 like this, this also feels. I know it's not exactly that, but this also feels like one of those class action things where it's like, sure, you can get some money back, but you have to fill out these forms and you yeah. have to do it by this date, and you have to have your yeah. proper receipts with this. And yeah. so I'm like, I'm sure some people are getting their money back, but it's not funny. probably everyone that it's should funny get their yeah. money back. Depends, and it's it fine. depends on the one because I remember years ago there was one where it was like if you bought an EA sports game from 2004 to 2012, you're entitled to some money back. And then it was literally just like check these boxes to tell us which ones you bought. Okay, I'm going to check all of them, I guess. <laughs> I got a check like two years later for $68. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So, so you, you could fair. buy another EA so Sports buy game. Sports it was perfect. Game. Hell yeah. yeah. Well, I'm waiting there on my go. Facebook check right now, guys. So, <laughs> <laughs> um, we kind of alluded to it earlier. Mortal Mortal Kombat One for Switch is a goddamn mess. Um, what? I think everybody, everybody's seen like this is your annual like WWE WWE Two K Twenty moment for a game. It's a game that, like, when they announced it was coming to Switch, I remember telling you, Dan, like, there's no way it's no going to work very well on yeah. Switch. I, I understand I why any developer wants to put their game on Switch at this point, yeah, right. because it's, what, $130 million or something like that install it's, base. It's, it's an absurd number, it's absurd. yeah. I get that from, a, like, you know, your eyes turn into dollar signs kind of situation. But you also have to know what you're bringing. I mean, the Switch is what it was came out in 2017 but like 17 but you know it's technology from well before that because they had to develop it and make it work you know so like that's eight nine years old stuff mm-hmm. and you're like you're brand new like just let it go right. let it go it's not it's just not it's just not work. worth it well because the other it's, thing every time this happens where like the switch version of something comes out and it's bad it's because they were like okay we're gonna give this to a third-party developer you yeah. guys make our game on that system and then they go, well, okay, we can do that. Can we have some assets? Well, yeah, here's some assets. Here's the game. <laughs> well, Crush it down into this tiny box for us. Oh, okay, <laughs> we're going to have to make some sacrifices. Yeah, whatever. That's fine. And then you see pictures of people's faces in this game and you go, whoa. Yeah. Somebody. <laughs> I like the, the one you sent me where he was shrinking back into yeah, the background the one, or whatever. The, the that was the most absurd thing I've seen. He's walking in the wrong direction on a 2D plane, so he walks in and out of the camera. How does yeah, that it's happen? Bit, like, what? Yeah, it's yeah, wild. Yeah, and, and here's the thing: I don't think a lot of them are realizing anyway, because like you guys said, you're playing Mortal Kombat One. Yeah, yeah. I've not played it, and, and it sounds like it's a great time. You guys are ha- enjoying it on what you're playing it with. I haven't played it yet. The only thing I've heard about it is how shitty the Switch version is. Right, right. <laughs> I, yeah. I have not. I have heard very little about it being a wonderful <laughs> game. The only thing I've heard about Mortal Kombat One <laughs> is God damn the switch version is <laughs> shitty and you, see, and you so get like, to see the same melina screenshot every yeah. time with her mouth so, yeah. so, so for someone oh who's like more God. casual i'm not like a a, a hardcore mortal Kombat fan mm-hmm. that's all the news that i see <laughs> everything yeah. i see is like oh this game must be bad because all i'm hearing <laughs> is bad stuff so it's like how much damage are you doing because you're always going to get the hardcores Right. Yeah, of yeah. course, you know, you're going to buy on and you know not to buy it on Switch. You guys are smart. You knew that wasn't going to be the best <laughs> version. That's not what you were buying. But now all all the the discourse about it is, boy, this Switch version is so terrible that now my brain, even though I know better, my brain's like, I bet Mortal Kombat 1 sucks. Like, that's well, just kind of where your brain yeah. goes. And it just sucks. It sucks for like Netherrealm and stuff because then they have to come out and be like, well, y- yeah, we know it's bad. Well, we're going to work on it. We'll, we'll fix it. And it's just like, oh, man, like you could have just avoided this. Like how many copies yeah. on Switch were you? I, I understand. Like you were like you were saying, right? Like the install base is huge. Like we all know this. But a lot of people who own a Switch probably own another console. 
Like yeah. in the same way, like we used to talk about with Wii's when we worked at the store. A lot, of, a lot of times you owned a Wii and something else. Or, yeah, it was you know very I mean? rare that to that, see you'd have your like you'd have a subsect of like a couple people that were just true Nintendo fans. So they'd have a Switch, or they'd have uh, the, at the time we were there mostly it was like the Wii U, and they'd have a 3DS, and that was all they were into. But it was a very, but a very lot of small times crowd. those people are so <laughs> Nintendo driven that they have those two yeah. play Nintendo games, and mm-hmm. yeah. they're not necessarily there for like Mortal Kombat One or whatever. Yeah. But it's just it's it's somebody had to see that, and they had to go. Well, this is as good <laughs> as it's going to look day one, and they went, all right. yeah, hell yeah, <laughs> ship it. We'll patch it later. <laughs> and it, I, I haven't seen numbers, but like based on just the install size, I'm sure it did okay. As yeah. far as like copies sold, as long you know, as like within like the first couple of days before all that stuff started coming out, right. yeah. And it's just maybe, like maybe ugh. that's where I mean I don't I don't know their books, but maybe that's worth it for them. Maybe that's Again, enough to, so. to make it worth it. We'll we'll see. Uh, I'll be very interested to see what the numbers on this Mortal Kombat game are overall when they come out. Um. I put this in here because I'm super excited. Uh, like a Dragon Infinite Wealth got its release date of January 26, 2024. I alluded to it earlier that that was a that, uh, you know, I was excited that Alone in the Dark got pushed. This is the day Alone in the Dark got pushed to. So, of course, another game I'm highly anticipating, which will take me many, many more hours than Alone in the Dark will. Um I I tried to watch the trailer, but they haven't done the it's it's very apparent. They haven't done the English voice acting yet. Um, they're, I'm sure that's what's being worked on right now. So it's all, all that is in Japanese. So I went to go watch the, st- the story trailer. It's like 10 minutes long. I was like, I, I'm not going to do that right now. But I watched the gameplay trailer, which gives you an idea of everything that's going on. And it just looks fucking bonkers in the best possible way. They're just, he's in Hawaii now, like all the different mini games and stuff they've thrown into it. There's a delivery, like a, like a DoorDash bicycle delivery mini game now. Oh, I don't yeah. know if you saw that one. Like it just everything looks great. So I think there's didn't it show um, like a giant fight against like a shark or something. There's like a shark and then yeah. um a crab or something. <laughs> there's the um there's the the it's the one shellfish. I can't think of the name of it. Remember that was one of the uh, pound mates you could call in the last game, like the summons. Mm-hmm. That thing is back, of course. Um, which, which that was a great, like, this just it's just such a wonderful, like stupidly wonderful JRPG. Like, and, and I've said before, like, I did not play any of the other Yakuza games. I've dabbled in them, but when they were like, Hey, like a dragon is going to be a art JRPG. That's what brought me into it. They kind of were like, it's kind of a, it's not a, it's not a reboot or anything like that, but it's kind of a good place to jump on. Yeah. It's well, never played it's, a its, Yakuza. Own, it's, it's its own universe within that. And God, Universe. I love that game. Yeah. <laughs> so I cannot wait for this one. <laughs> so uh, having a date is fantastic. So I, I very much look for it. Like, it's, I mean, it's a bummer that something else, another big RPG comes out a month later that I'm looking forward to, which we'll get to in a little bit. But um, I will play the hell out of this. And I'm sure at some point when you get to it, Dan, you'll, you'll play it too. Yeah, I will. I don't think you have even, you haven't even played like a dragon Not yet. I just finished up okay. what I was going to, what I wanted to do for lost judgment. I'm pretty much done with that game. Judgment, so now I can judgment. jump off. Okay. Um, I threw it in here really quick. Uh, just, to, just, it's already out at the time of this recording, but the separate ways DLC for Resident Evil 4 remake is out. It's nine 99, which I will say when I first saw that they were charging for it, I, I got a little bit, uh, you know, pitchfork happy. But then I, I, I watched the trailer and like they actually put a lot of work into oh. remaking that that uh, unlockable part of that game. So nine ninety nine is probably is fair. It, is. it could it's, have been a hell of a lot enough. worse. It could have it, been worse. And uh, I mean, who knows when it will. But Resident Evil stuff is on sale all the time. It is yes. all, all the time. This time. will get a sale. So it's not that big a deal. When I when I get around to playing it, it'll, it like at that point, it'll be like five bucks. Yeah, 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 that's yeah. Fine. I, I, I'll jump <laughs> in at that four ninety nine and, and get it downloaded. <laughs> the the proper method for DLC is like when it gets announced and put on the store, you just wish list it. And then just every month yeah. you just check and it's like, oh, this DLC I wanted is half off now. That's what I do. Now I can play it. Um. 
we can dive. We we actually had two other like we had the Microsoft like felt like we had an event for all three with the Microsoft wow, League, wow. but we actually had. And the funny thing was, I was on vacation this day. We had a PlayStation Stay to Play and a Nintendo Direct, and I did not watch either of them because I was on vacation. <laughs> Usually, I will watch these. I did not. I just kind of like you text me about them after them. I'm like. Oh, that's right. That was today. And yeah. then I went and read the news articles. And I did the same thing later in the day for Sony. Yeah, yeah. And I, I was like, I, oh, that's I right. powered through the Nintendo one. Um, I, and I say power through just because. So during the day, uh, my wife's back to work, so I'm watching my son during the day. <laughs> oh. mm-hmm. And for whatever reason, my son did not want to give me 45 minutes <laughs> <laughs> uninterrupted. So, so it took me it took me about four hours to get through the 45 minute presentation. <laughs> Uh, and, and I did not have I did not have the energy to do that for PlayStation, so I just looked well, at the report later you, for PlayStation. I just well, didn't have the strike. You didn't miss much. No, that, as you that, say, that is what that's what I gathered. We'll start with PlayStation, but yeah, it's it's another like I still uh, we we go through this every time there's a direct, and I question like what is after Spider Man first party, and they won't answer it because there isn't anything yet. <laughs> um, the biggest thing out of here, I mean, they showed more Spider Man. I didn't even watch any of the Spider Man stuff because it's out in a month. I, I mean, don't need to see. You it. know me. I'm yeah. sold. Who, who's I'm sold on the it. fence at this point <laughs> about it. Like, no, you know, I played been. one in Miles you're Morales. E- you're but... either giving it or you're not at this point. Like, <laughs> yeah. Like what? Like what a why? Like I'm excited I, for Spider Man too, but what a waste for the presentation. Kyle and I it have is. this discussion yeah. all the time where it's like it's it's coming out so soon that I don't want to know anything else. No, like, I, I, know I got my one Craven trailer. I, and I'm like, Craven, all right. <laughs> and I have the black suit and you fight lizard at some point. That is enough. I don't need yeah. a detailed <laughs> breakdown of well, how, this is how we made this work. And like, here's no, nobody gives this is no save something for the game. man. like, God, I'm surprised they don't just show like this is how he gets to suit off. And this is who become. And then this is how this. No, and they showed a lot of suits. I, I mean, it, it's honestly what makes me feel, and I'm projecting here because companies can always announce whatever, and who knows. Sure, but like the fact that they're going this hard on Spider-Man makes me yeah. think that they don't have anything coming anytime soon. No, that's right. what I think. I'm, too. Sure, I'm sure they're working on stuff. They're obviously stuff. working on right. something, but these games don't take two to three years to make anymore. They take five, six, seven, yeah, eight years exactly. to make. Wow. Yeah. So they just might not have anything and you're, to and work you're with for a while. A game like Spider-Man 2 so hard when it has essentially like, did you play the first one? Yeah, you're going to like this one. <laughs> yeah. <exactly. laughs> yeah. So did you play Miles Morales? Yeah, cool. You, They're both you know in this out one. Of the gate yeah. If you're going to want to buy Spider-Man 2 or not. Yeah. Without, ha- without having to know anything about it, you know if you want it or not. I, the one thing I will give them strong credit for is that at least it is a PS5 only game. Well, thank God. And it's not. A, yeah. So at least it will be a, it, it, like it will be a system seller. Like there will be people that go and buy a well, PS5 they made to play a system Spider-Man for it. Yeah, I mean, they did. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah, I, I haven't turned on my PlayStation in a while. I will when I get a hold of this. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah like, I'm excited about it. That's that's how I've been. Like I played. I did not finish Final Fantasy 16. I got like maybe halfway through it and then other stuff came out. And now it's to the point like I'll play that later. I'll get this. Uh, I'm playing Mortal Kombat. It's the first time I've turned on my PlayStation in like a month is Mortal Kombat. And then, yeah, Spider-Man will come out. I'll be on the PlayStation for a while playing that until yep. the next thing, you know. So um, the big thing here that I'm excited about Final Fantasy 7 Rebirth. On two discs. It's out February 29th. On two that's discs. The proper, that's the full on, title of that game, actually. On two discs. On two discs. It is. It is. <laughs> um, over 100 hours of content. Like, I don't know. I am, I watched the trailer they put out. I watched the footage. I'm, I am super excited about it. I'm extremely excited for this game. It looks awesome. <laughs> so... Um, I, I would, I've seen the memes. I know you've seen it where Red 13's riding a chocobo. Ridiculous. Like, that's the most Fuck it. I like, don't care anymore. heinous, we should yeah. not do that, like, nightmare thing, but they did it, and yeah. it's just wild. Well, and it looks like it's an in-joke in the game, at least, so, like, they it get is. it. But... It is, because they have a little screenshot. Yeah. I'm going, what the fuck? Like, <laughs> um, it's, it looks so good, though, like, this part of the game that I've been waiting to see, like, how are they going to do the open world? How, like, it lo- every part of it looks yeah. fantastic. And I'm, I'm interested in it because it looks like it's going to be super i mean zach is clearly alive so i read there's going to be a chapter where yeah there yeah. is it deals specifically with him right. and the events of he's you know, specifically the last did one, not so. die where you thought he died so and that's the other part of it that's intriguing is okay so what is changing right you know 
are we going to get to the end and and she's not and Aerith is not dead? Like that's a strong possibility. My thought is, is like, what if they kill somebody else? Yeah, what well, I was going to say, Tifa, but oh god, I no, they the, couldn't. The People, fans are right. Oh my god. That building might burn to the ground if they did that. <laughs> like, like, At least with Aerith, like it's expected. If they kill yeah. Tifa, that is a problem. But, but what if in the, what if in this version, like nobody dies? I don't know. I think they I think do that twist. You kind of need have you need a story beat where something real bad happens, right? Like, like, like that. That's so pivotal, right? It is too pivotal. I'd be story, surprised. You know, like, but I think, but I think, what the theme of this game or what the story of this game is is. She clearly has memories of things that happened before, right? Yeah. So, like, it's almost like this. This game is, um, I don't. It's. It, I don't even know what you call it anymore. But like, she has knowledge of prior events. She does. So, if they lean, I think if they lean more into that, and they lean, and she leans into, I know this is what happened, and she explains that to them. Maybe that's the story dump, and maybe the maybe okay. the game becomes. How do we make? She tells them like I'm going to die at this point. Yeah, and that maybe, would be, and maybe the story becomes be can you stop it? So, so like, there's, I, there's I, a way to play around there with is. it and, and get to that point and change it. Because then, if you, but the thing is, is if you change it, then the third act of this game goes to places that it's never could have gone before. Yeah, because it, that's a pivotal moment at the end of seven where like her in the live stream stops the meteor. Well, if she ain't yeah. dead. That ain't going to happen. Exactly. So there's, there's, it's, it's going to be really weird, but I like it more as a different game than as a retelling of the game that plays as an action. It doesn't, game. Yeah. I like that. Like going into the first one, like I didn't think, you know, I was like, Oh man, if they change stuff and I, I found myself enjoying that aspect of it. more. I liked it more when it was different. Yeah. yeah. When it was different. The only other thing that I'll say is like they have confirmed uh, Vincent Valentine and um, Cat Cat Seed Cat. How do you say Kate, Kate Seed? Yeah. Okay, uh, not playable in the game. They are like Red Thirteen was in the first Kinda one. Dumb, but I get it. I forget what the term is that they use it's like specifically, an assist like character or something. assist yeah. character. Yeah, something like that. But Red Thirteen is playable in this, so they mm. clearly show him like really fighting. Well, stuff you got to save it but, all. You got to save it all for part three, and then when did. they eventually decide, we're just going to make a fourth one too. And I got the tease of that coffin open and him popping out, and that was I was very happy. Well, like we haven't that. even seen Sid. We're not even getting that far. <laughs> no, I don't think. Yeah, like, that's crazy. <laughs> it is crazy. Sid legally has to be in a Final Fantasy. Game. Yeah, otherwise <laughs> it cannot be. be called as such. <laughs> yeah. But like, we're not even getting to him in part Damn. two. Jesus, dude! Like that's halfway through the game. In the in the first one, it's but yeah, I I cannot wait for this. And plus, um, hey, you, get, I, you get to ride one of those what segway? You get to ride a segway around Costa del Sol. That's all that matters. <laughs> next month, my at my work, the we get to pick our vacation time for next year. I'm gonna pick some vacation time around Final Fantasy. <laughs> so please keep your date. This is the one game I'll say. Please keep your date. So um, the only other stuff that they talked about at the PlayStation thing. I mean, we talked about Resident Evil Four DLC already. Uh, they are also doing the the uh, PSVR two uh, thing for that game, which like fine. And then uh, they talked about that Avatar game, which like I just for me, I, I heard I, somebody I, refer to it as Far Cry Avatar. Avatar. Okay. And I was like, um, huh, that makes a lot of sense after watching trailers of yeah, it and stuff like. I guess that. I could see that. Um, that was kind of the other big thing. They showed some VR. Uh, PlayStation VR two games, Roblox, dude. Uh, there's a Roblox. The, the Roblox console, is finally coming to yeah. Th- well, that's been on Xbox, but it's oh, it's man. coming to PlayStation finally. Yeah. I I, uh, I don't I don't play Roblox, but that that is a big deal to finally. It, it is a big right. deal. Like, like yeah, like, like, like in anything that my seven year old nephew asks if I play, I know is probably a big deal in the <laughs> my, video games. My son <laughs> is know. very excited for Roblox on PlayStation. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Uh, your favorite game, Dan, Foam Stars, is getting an open beta. You want to talk about a we, game that's going to be about that, yeah. in a couple months, Foam Stars. Um, they put out a release date trailer for Helldivers 2. That I'm actually kind of excited that to try. That looks cool. I like the first one. This looks a lot different than the first one, yeah. but uh, that's out in February, beginning of February, February 8th. Um, and then, like I said, VR stuff. Um, that weird. The only other thing, really, that weird... <clears throat> um, Indie game Baby, Baby steps. steps. I don't know if you remember. Yeah, yeah. that's out that? next uh, summer. That's Bennett Foddy. Yeah, the, it's made by Game yeah. Over It. Yeah, 
But hey, yeah, that was the it'll big, be interesting. That was the big PlayStation reveal at the event. We have this. <laughs> yeah. yeah, didn't it what? kick off the uh, the yeah, actual? It was it was either at the it beginning did. or like right after. It, but it was just like I want to say it was the first game it they could showed. Have been. Yeah, but it was just yeah, like I watched it going. This just looks like getting over it, but in a different thing. And then sure enough, that's what it is. And then it's like that's all you had that I didn't know about before. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Yeah. Uh, a, uh. a couple of things that I thought was weird during this thing. <laughs> um I'll, I'll do the the one that's kind of neat first like the tales of arise got an expansion that's like weird. two years yeah. after it you know like that it feels like anymore especially like with modern video games they don't go two, back two, that, two years yeah. you're you're you've already moved on you're done right. you know, so, <laughs> so that's kind of neat and then the one that i thought was really really strange and i don't think they look bad but there's all these rumors about there being a ps5 refresh so why yeah. the hell are they selling these new like face plates yeah. and yeah. stuff for like 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 they look good that blue one looks yeah awesome. the colors like, are nice oh it does yeah. I want it but like if is the, uh, are these going to work on the new refresh I would hope the new system is a little smaller than the thing I, that I, can, so. I could destroy yeah. an well, intruder with and if like, they came into my house <laughs> you know like the PlayStation like the disc based one to the digital ones aren't even the same size. So there's no way the refresh is the same size as either one of those there's that no it fits. Way. So, yeah, I just it's... when they when they came out with that first wave, I bought the black ones just so it matched, you know, everything else mm-hmm. that I have. My Xbox is black system. My uh, Switch, you know, is mostly, and I have this, you know, giant router looking thing with two fins on the side that are are white and just man, the thing like it, I've said before is it's the ugliest console. <laughs> That we've ever got. Yeah. I don't know why, but uh, that blue, those blue fins look really cool. Yeah, it so looks really nice. I'm gonna stick with the black ones that I got. So, but uh, yeah, if you've never done the fin, the fin thing, I would recommend. I think Dan, you're doing the Spider Man one. Nope. So, or you tried to so try to get the controller. They were gone. That's they right. were gone before they even appeared for me. Which, like, I mean, the cool thing about that is you don't even have to buy a special edition console there now. You can just buy those fins if in you can theory, get them. Yeah. So in theory. Um, so we'll flip over. So that was later in that day, but then there was also a Nintendo direct that happened that day as well, which they had some, they had some pretty good stuff that was announced some at that as stuff, well. Some good stuff. Yeah. I think there was for you, there was the, the one disappointment where you well, text me. There's one disappointment. Yeah. You know what it is. Um, but so they had, uh, th- I think the biggest thing here we kind of talked about earlier, Paper Mario Thousand Year Door HD. Awesome. Um, that's a huge thing. I mean, fans have been asking for that for years. I can't speak. Like I said earlier, I can't speak to you. I never I actually played that one. I do. I will play it now that it's coming out. But I know that's a huge deal because I've known for years. People have always told me that that's the best one. Um, there's also this uh, Mario vs. Donkey Kong remake. Well, that was disappointment um, number one because the yeah. uh, the leak beforehand was like new Donkey Kong game, and which would like, be exciting. Yeah. All right, cool. Maybe tropical freeze type game or or something else, or maybe they go nuts and they remaster Donkey Kong sixty four or something, right? Nah, yeah, dude, it's no. it's the Mario versus Donkey Kong games from Game Boy Advance. <laughs> from the Game Boy Advance. Oh, yeah. Okay. Those games are fun, but the biggest the biggest disappointment, and I'll say like. At, af- after we say what it is, like the idea of this is cool, but right. again, this got leaked a day beforehand and the hype was at Unreal levels. But there is a new F Zero, <laughs> but it's not what you want it to be. It's F Zero ninety nine, so it's very much like Tetris ninety nine and what was it Mario oh, thirty five and those. Yeah, yeah. Pac- man. I, I, like, I've, he- I've heard F Zero ninety nine is fun, it's, even if people is, never. Sure it is very cool yeah. for what it is. But, I don't know how much replay value it has. Right. I feel it feels like one of those after you play a few rounds, you kind of I've have watched, got to I've point watched a and bunch like, of it, and the thing that confuses me about it is it is not a race to be the last one left. It is just a race. So interesting. Like if if after the third lap there's 35 cars left, well it's just whoever came in first. I feel like if, if it was a battle royale game, especially in a game where you can destroy each other, it'd be more fun for it to keep going until one there's only one racer left or something or at least yeah or at least that's a mode like why couldn't that be a mode in that game but i don't know i'd prefer a real f-zero game this seems cool for what it is but it's nintendo they'll shut it off in a year as as i think we said too when when we were texting each other about it like it's been 20 years since the last f-zero game (laughs) so that's why the internet kind of had a meltdown when that got leaked the day before like there's gonna be a new f-zero yeah Yeah, it's worse because we know we remember f-zero guys check it out 
<laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Well, maybe they're just like testing the waters a little bit. Like they're gonna look mm-hmm. at the numbers to see who plays to see if there's any actual. Because I feel, I hope like, that's true. And, and I, I would not be. Mad. I'm not an F zero guy. I would mm-hmm. not be mad if it got made. I don't think it shouldn't be made. I have a feeling, in a weird way, though, it's probably one of those games that the people who are really passionate about it yeah. are excited. But but casually. Yeah. No one's got like kind of like Metroid traditionally has been for yeah. years. Mm-hmm. For the years. people who love Metroid will like, oh god, they, we have to have a new Metroid. It's the, <laughs> and then when they get released, no one but them buys it. Right. And, and yeah, and it doesn't mean the games are bad. It's just kind of how F Zero definitely the falls and into go. that category. I think Star Fox falls into that category too. Where yeah, for sure, Star Fox has enough bad will going for it now after <laughs> the Wii U one. Yeah, no one wants a new one now. That I do want <laughs> one, oh, but man. I don't even know what I want anymore. Because I don't yeah. know if they can make a good one anymore. Just just remake sixty four. That's all it has to be. Do it again. Yeah. They made it for three DS. Make it again. Yeah. Uh, this Princess Peach game. I think was it was it titled before this no. direct or no? No. no. Okay. No, it, was, so was, it was new Princess Peach game. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so it, it's called Princess Peach Showtime. Uh, it'll be out March twenty second of next year. Um, so they, they, they're, I, you know, it's funny because the previous direct, it made, it made me think, oh, it's going to be much later next year. Right. That the games come out. No, it's ready to go pretty fast. But I guess <laughs> I should think that because that's how Nintendo does things now. Like they announce a short window and they yeah. get it out the door. So yeah. I thought this looked um, fun. It looks like, fun. It, it does. It, yeah. it, it, it's going to be a, you know, 10 to 15 hour experience. It's not going to be that deep, but my daughter I, is I'm just very glad excited. That, yeah. I am glad that Peach doesn't, uh, uh, fight enemies by crying like a like a damsel in distress <laughs> yeah. on this one. So that's all I needed. Um, I'm excited about this. Uh, this is on everything. This isn't a Switch exclusive, but they're remastering the original three Tomb Raider games. Um, it's been a, a hot minute since I played one of those original, but mm-hmm. like one of my favorite early PlayStation memories is playing the first two games because it was yeah. so unique and different at the time that type you of were game. trying to get those codes to work <laughs> exactly <laughs> <laughs> uh, but that's very exciting that's out february so valentine's day february 14th of next year that'll be out but that's out on everything um luigi's mansion 2 hd so there that's the um is dark that the that's dark, dark movie yeah, yeah. One, yeah. okay yeah, complete which the trilogy I have, Switch. I never played, yeah. um, but it'll complete, so we'll have all. Yeah, so um, this is coming out next summer. They didn't give a date, but it'll be it'll be out in the summer. Um, we get into the, you know, they they announced uh, what what is Splatoon three? Is it cider? That's just more mm-hmm. yeah. DLC and stuff. Okay, again, Splatoon very popular. Yeah, a always lot of people been. play that online. Always, always has been. I thought this looked pretty cool, and I've never really played Splatoon. Like, like. <laughs> I, I don't like multiplayer shooter type of stuff. That's just not the type of games I play. <laughs> mm-hmm. But like, I kind of like the world and lore that they've built with it and stuff. And I think this is all single player. Yes. Yeah. It looks it it looks really damn cool. Like I might try this before I ever tried the Splatoon three <laughs> multiplayer play game. Yeah. Honestly, there you go. There you go. Um, they showed more of that Prince of Persia, the Lost Crown. I still think that looks fantastic. The one that everybody's kind of like, uh, the 2D point, 2.5D. Yeah, that, that, that's um, a game that's going to fail because everyone wants is. the 3D right. remake. Everybody wants done, that remake that, but, but you I know, think that looks awesome. Yeah, I think this it looks does. great. I love old Prince of Persia. Playing on I old, like, too. Apple II and stuff, man. Yep. Um, new trailer for Super Mario RPG remake. I don't, you know, again, that's another one of those, like, yeah, you can show me more. At least it's an older game, so you're not spoiling anything, but, like, I don't need. Well, they showed some of the like the new. There's tweaked mechanics and stuff, which are good. Yeah. So that is out November seventeenth. I can't wait for that. What? It's a weird year where, like, I don't think for me at least, there's not like a big November game. That is my big November game. Is it's it's really weird. Um, Trombone Champ is coming in uh, Nintendo Switch. It's a rhythm game. Um, it was, I guess it was out exclusively on PC yeah, last year. I've seen some stuff yeah. on it. It's one of those like okay. weird, fun, yeah, annoying it, 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 it had about, it, not, not, not quite to the extent that Fall Guys did, but it had okay. like a really early explosion mm-hmm. where like it was big on like Twitch and yeah. things like yeah. that mm-hmm. because it was like, cause it's like a rhythm game, but like a lot of the fun is being bad at playing the trombone and it's apparently, <laughs> and apparently it has this like a really weird off the wall. <laughs> story okay. and i think it. in the so pc I, I, one you're able to like put in your own songs and all that kind of stuff people yeah, were doing that sense. so yeah 
Um, one game I I don't know anything about, but I've seen a ton of people play coming to Switch is Dave the Diver. I've seen a ton of people on yeah. Steam playing this. Yeah, looks uh, looks cool. really cool. Yeah, it's on my yeah. wish list for Steam. And then is this? As I think we discussed that, but this is the final wave of Mario Kart this 8. Is the final DLC wave of the first set it. of the third iteration of Mario <laughs> Kart 8? There well, you well, go. It, it's the final DLC until Switch 2 gets announced, and they have and Mario then, Kart 8 Deluxe Plus. Yes, there you which go. Which will then add more. Wave after Seven that. is coming in 2027. <laughs> that guy will yeah. come out. Like, oh god. There you go. But hey, I mean, I, I when that finally happens, then I will go and try all these courses. I just haven't tried any of yeah. them yet, but I have the DLC. I mean, at this point, I think what did it sell for twenty or twenty five? But like the amount of courses they're giving you is absurd. So uh, there's that one that was like in a bathroom or that something. Like that looks cool. Yeah. 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 Uh, Detective Pikachu returns. Got a new trailer. Um, that's out. That's out October sixth. So. I'm not a Pokemon person, really, but I mean, I it's it'll sell. People love Pokemon. Yep. <laughs> so um, then they did some Amiibo updates for various games. Uh, so there's going to be some <laughs> more fin- Tears of the, the Kingdom. The is over. Yeah, this there you is go. It, yeah. Yeah. We, we did it. These damn Amiibos, man. These, like, <laughs> I, I'll tell you, I, I can't remember if I, I probably talked about it last time. I love Amiibo. I have a complete in box North American set of Amen. every amiibo that's ever come out. And every time they I, I always have these like mixed feelings. Every time they announce a new amiibo, at first my heart goes, Yay! I love and these go, things. Shit. And then I go, shit, now I gotta watch for pre-orders and they take get all this yeah. stuff. Damn and, space. Oh like like I have all mine stored in a closet right now, just because I don't have the wall space. I've got a couple bins in the other with, room with some uh, with a yeah. I, I, and I love them. Once like once we buy yeah. a house, I want to just have a wall that yeah. has them all up. They look fantastic. Uh, the functionality is pretty much useless no, of almost every one of them. Packaging and toys are what I'm yeah, buying. It, yeah, I think they're neat. But like every time, I like. I, I've never loved something that I've wanted to be discontinued so badly <laughs> all my life. Like, <laughs> just so I don't have to do smash, the-, the smash line is over is like a sigh of relief because it's like I could be free at this point if I wanted to be. Yeah, because I right. had that. But then they made Zelda ones. It's like, well, I can't really be free because they're Zelda ones. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got my Zelda ones pre-ordered. I got my, yeah, I got, my, uh, yeah, I got, I got my Xenoblade Chronicles one pre-ordered, which that was actually the harder one. That to was get. the hardest one, yeah, for sure. And then I'm sure Sora will be a pain in the ass. But to, their, to Nintendo's credit, especially for the Smash ones, they have they've been pretty easy to find in yes. stores. Yes. Like even if you can't get the pre-orders, they're available yeah. pretty. Yeah, like those like those that. last Xenoblade ones were terrible, but you can get them now if you if you want yeah. a set. You, you still see like the Skyward Sword, uh, Zelda, and the mm-hmm. and the bird. Like yeah, those were really one. hard to find for a little bit, and then now they're still everywhere. I bought an extra one when it went on GameStop for five dollars because it's just like maybe I should. Yeah, that's the only dollars. one I have a duplicate of because it actually has a practical. That, that's, that's the only way you can fast travel. Yeah, <laughs> it, yeah. Ridiculous. Every other one I don't care, but that one yeah. I have actually an open one. Yep. <laughs> um, Horizon Chase Two is out. Uh, I played the first one actually. This was like a. First one was like a plus game. I'm the only person point. who saw this and was just like, wow, they're making a new cruising game. And yeah. then they said, it's, it's kind of like that. Like, oh, that looks yeah. like cruising. I mean, I, cru- I, I think that's the point. Yeah, I think it is. I, well, I don't think they're hiding it very no, they're not. Know, strongly. Because Cruising that, that's Blast what inspired was by. that other game. And that game's actually pretty fun. But it just looks like a blatant ripoff. What did you find? Whatever. Um, they have a couple more of these kind of announcements. Like another code recollection is announced. That so those crazy. are what? DS, it's okay. I don't hear because this the crazy thing about that one is so that's a the first one is a DS game with very yeah, DS memory. with very okay. DS yeah. specific puzzles, including one where you had to close your DS and reopen it. Okay, how does Ooh. that work? Is I, she gonna I mean, have they, is she gonna have something in game that I do it in game? That's got to be the only way that works, right? You're telling me if they can do this, then I can get those three DS Castlevania yes. games in a collection now. You That's get, what I want. You can want. get the Ninja Gaiden <laughs> game where you got to hold your Switch Complete sideways. It. <laughs> but um, okay. But the cool thing about this is like Trace Memory, awesome DS game, and then we get the the Wii game we never got. Like that's okay. that's the crazy was a Japanese part to me. exclusive, yeah, correct? The Wii game we never got. We get that exclusive. Interesting. You know, a decade and a half later on the Switch, that's great. That's one of those games where I thought there wasn't going to be a physical copy either, but there actually is going to be one, which is good. That's cool. Yeah. 
Um, Saga Emerald Beyond arrives next year. Uh, yeah. That's uh, another Saga game. Did not see a new Saga game. I, I don't know much about the games. But yeah. Like that, that's a weird one that I'm like, aren't it those is. games from like 1988? Yeah. <laughs> like, like, they always just randomly like, new one. Repopping up from time to time. It's like, who is still playing these games? I guess enough people somehow. It is. Um, this one I thought was pretty cool. I I have this game. It's on my shelf of my many, many backlog games I need to get to. But the people that made that 13 Sentinels game, yeah. um, they have a new tactics RPG, Unicorn Overlord. Look Looks really yeah, good. This yeah. look good, yeah. Um, And then I – how do you pronounce I this don't one? Know. I can't. I'm not okay. going to try. I, I'm I, in, I think it's Iodin. Iodin. Yeah. Okay. Iodin Chronicle. I know what it is. Right. Um, the spiritual success, successor to Suikoden. Uh, we'll say Iodin Chronicle 100 Heroes is a new release date of April 23rd, 2024. I'm excited for that game. That game looks really so, good. So this will probably come out before the the, uh, the remasters, right? Uh, think? At this point, probably. Uh, yeah, okay. one, one, so yeah, 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 I would be okay. shocked if the, the, the remasters, I think, had some issues. Yeah, they're just kind of uh, sitting in the middle of nowhere at this point, I think. Um, WarioWare Move It got a new trailer that's out in November. That this is another example. So this is a very me specific problem, but Nintendo loves to make games that require me to hold shit. <laughs> <laughs> like, like the, the Wario War games are a lot of fun, but you're gonna make they me are. do that. I guess I'm not playing yeah. your yeah. game. You have like, to like, and not only hold it, but hold it in a very specific manner yeah. for yeah. a set amount yeah. of time. Because there are certain games, like, like obviously I've had my disability my whole life. You learn to work around things. I know sure. everything can't be designed for me. That's just how this works. But like some of these games, the Wii was the worst for this. Yeah, there were so yeah, many yeah. games where I'm like, I'm just disqualified. I guess <laughs> I, I'm. I will not. So yeah. so it's uh, thanks. I, I'm looking forward to you know 15 years down when they do a WarioWare collection and they get rid of the moving controls so I can actually there play you. this. Yeah. And then, because uh, I didn't watch the direct, you can explain this one, Dan. But what is the Nintendo Gallery it's just Museum? Like, it, I would say it's like the official Nintendo Museum in Japan. That's now. what it's yeah. okay. Yeah, it, okay. It's, it's an actual brick and mortar location, like a, a physical Museum. place okay. you could go that, to, kind of a thing. Okay. I think for the I think for the longest time, a lot of that stuff was just like in their headquarters and like they had it. But that this is sense. like they finally bought a place. They're making a place. It'd be really yeah, cool it, if they could do this over here, too, and like make yeah, their own it, thing up yeah. in like Redmond. It, it was a cool announcement, but very weird to be in a Nintendo Direct. It yeah, feels like it should have been more like a tweet or like a YouTube video. Well, they and the other thing is, is like, by when they, they've done directs in the past where like there's an American one and a Japanese one and they broadcast them in those territories. That part could have been cut from our side, I feel. Yeah. Just because yeah. it is in a very specific place in Japan. So, like, would it be an awesome place to go to? Absolutely. But oh, for sure. Uh, but that and that kind of wraps up the Nintendo Direct. It was a really so. good direct. Oh, yeah, it was a good yeah. direct. Yeah, yeah it, the last it was, one was, it was a good direct. And I think for me, and I'm not the first person to have this this thought. It also pretty much shows that we're getting a new system next year. Yeah. Cause, oh cause yeah, because no, none of these games like. There's a lot of games I want to play, but none of these were like the, oh, shit, this is a system seller kind of. It seems yeah. like they're sort of, I think their, their teams are probably working on a new, like, Mario Odyssey 2 or whatever the launch game is going to be. Like, those teams are working on right. that stuff, and these are smaller projects that they could kind of get done and get out that are fun. Yeah. And Tyler and I said the they, same they're, thing they're to each great. other, like, right after where it's like, you can tell because we're in updated port mode. We're like, <laughs> yeah. the two, <laughs> like... Three, there's three Mario games coming, and two of them are updated ports. Yeah, so like which one of is them fine. Is, it's been long enough. I mean, again, Wonder looks awesome, but it is an experimental 2D, 2.5D Mario game. It's not like they an always Odyssey have like 2. a flagship yeah. thing at the end too. Like this is we're ushering yeah. in the new thing after this kind of. A yeah, thing. and yeah, they, yeah, whatever the next the, the next yeah. Mario will probably be cross gen or whatever. It'll be right. for the title for the Switch, and like they did with Breath of the Wild, exactly. And, yeah. or twilight princess way back in the day too man. um and then i'll go through this very fast because there's not really there that much but nothing here there's almost nothing here but uh there was a digital broadcast the tokyo game show for xbox uh very very small amount of things but there is one important thing to note um but uh they are suda 51's making a new game called uh hotel barcelona it looks crazy i watched <laughs> i actually watched for that 
it's just I couldn't tell you what's happening in that. It just looks crazy. It's like a um, slasher film kind of parody. But it's yeah, a sci-fi. it's like a Metroidvania type thing too. Yeah, it it looks weird. Um, in a good way, in a suited fifty one way. Yeah. Uh, Octopath Traveler two is finally coming to Xbox next year. So that kind of like they must have had some weird, you know thing for a year because it seems like it'll yeah. match up about yeah. the year well, timeline I mean, well, they got the first one like about a year late yeah so, and it yeah. was a weird and announcement at the on, time. yeah 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 I, I'm, one, I, I, I'm, I'm an achievement guy i'm a gamer score guy more than mm-hmm. a trophy guy so i'll probably wait to finally play this when it gets on uh xbox I so a, i can get those achievements i have a suspicion as it gets closer it'll maybe be a game pass game because yeah. octopad traveler first one, one was, was as well while. yeah 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 um he talked about uh, Japan course for Forza. I'm not really. Get, I'm, I don't think any of us here are diehard, you know, oh, I, I in the trench Forza. racing. I, I, but like regular Forza. Oh, I, I, yeah, I, I'll play the okay. ball. Like, okay. like Forza. So I, I'm not a big car guy in real life. I'm not either. So. I, 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 I drive a 2017 Nissan Sentra. <laughs> That's who I am as a person. <laughs> so so clearly I don't I don't tie my personality into my car. But the Forza games, for whatever reason, they, they are my favorite podcast slash youtube game okay. where, you, mm. where you can be playing a game and you don't necessarily need you don't need to hear story beats you don't need to hear all that you can kind of just zone out a little bit just like look at they're always they're always super pretty and then that's when i catch up on oh the youtube shows that i watch and oh podcasts that i listen to i'll yeah. just have those going i they're it's my favorite game to do that with i, I love okay. the forza games i am for whatever reason and again i'm not a car guy i couldn't tell you we're looking at the little picture there of the. Uh, I couldn't tell you what any of those cars are. Oh god, no, I couldn't either. <laughs> n- n- none of them is a 2017 Nissan Sentra. That's the only thing I can tell you. <laughs> uh, so you'll even you'll even play this one then. Oh, what I, I, I okay. have uh, got the I've gotten every achievement in like four or five of the motorsport okay. games already. Okay, all the Horizon games. Like, yeah, I, I'm gonna play the okay. hell out of this. Okay. Yeah, I, I, for me, I always skip and wait for the Horizon ones because I just like all the crazy shit that they do in that. And, and, but... and, and that is also the correct answer for most okay. people. <laughs> I'm not telling you wrong, but I, I, I just love zoning out on these games. <laughs> um, add more content to Fallout 76. Same with Elder Scrolls Online, and it's also coming to Japan for the first time. I guess localized um, too, right? Yeah, which yeah, I think was which I think which was cool that they did all that. Uh, it's out in November. Um, Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney Trilogy is coming to Game Pass, which is cool. I already own it on the Xbox because yeah, I, so I bought it when it came already, out. Yeah, I already finished um, it a while ago. Yeah. I, also, I also have it on Switch as well. Yeah. So, and then um, the uh, Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney, what, what's the other one? The Apollo? Apollo Justice. Apollo Justice. Uh, that trilogy is coming out January 24th or January 25th, which is cool. Um, I'm excited about that. Those I never played, so... The yeah. only one I ever played before that trilogy was the very first one. Yeah, yeah. And then I played through those on the Switch. And then at some point I need to get back and just do the ones on the to get the achievements on the Xbox. But yeah. um, those are awesome games. Um, there's this fantasy adventure. I'm a, Aletheia, the Wrath of Afiri. Um, that was another game that was shown here. I don't really know much about it. It looks cool. Um. One of the bigger announcements here, we just talked about Edie and Chronicle. That is coming to Game Pass day and date. So April 24th, that'll be on Game Pass. So if you're somebody that never played those Suikoden in games and you don't know, like that's a good way to yeah. try it out. Um, they talked about updates for Exo Primal. Exo Primal apparently has done pretty well. Yeah. I don't know. I just, when I found out what it was, it checked me out of the game. Yeah. Yeah. Exo Primal is one of those games that I have zero desire to play but I'm rooting for it. it yeah. it's, it's just so weird that I want it to do well. It's not my type of game, but yeah. I'm just like, yeah, have them fight street fighter characters. Go <laughs> down, who gives a shit? This like, is awesome. Just do it. <laughs> um, one that I am excited about, but I'll wait till it's on sale because it's out in this hellscape time where everything's out. And I'll, I'll, it has, you know, just the most wild name, infinity strash. I always want to say trash. Dragon Quest, The Adventure of Die. Uh, got a new trailer. It's actually out next week yeah, it's already, uh, which is, is crazy to think. But yeah, anything Dragon Quest, I always jump on. Um, this was the other like pretty big announcement. Um, like a Dragon Gaiden, the man who raised his name is coming out on Game Pass day and date. 
Um, which actually, I mean, it's a good thing because wasn't this was the first one that was going to be a fully digital, digital title only in, in yeah. North so, America? Yeah. yeah. So it's cool that that's coming to Game Pass. Um, I'm crossing my fingers and hoping that as we get closer to it, um, Infinite Wealth is also on Game Pass. Could be. But we'll see. I mean, at this point, well, I, I, mean, I think all of the Yakuza, yeah. like all the Yakuza games, I think have been it will be eventually at certain points. Right. Yeah. yeah. I think it will be eventually. I don't know if it will be on the day on the day and date. Um, they showed some other like games here. My lovely Empress is coming to Xbox. Pal World is coming to Xbox in 2024. Pokemon with guns. <laughs> uh, <laughs> that game that just came out for Game Pass. That's uh, pretty popular. Party Animals is getting an uh, Ori and the Will of Wisps crossover. Mm. And then they showed new trailers for per- Persona 3 Reload, which I'm excited about. And Persona 5 Tactica, which is out in November, uh, that is on Game Pass. Both of these are yeah. on Game Pass day and date, actually. So, Because um, I remember when they finally put Persona 3 on Game Pass, so I was like, all right, I'm going to finally play Persona 3. And then they're like, oh, we're doing this remake. All right, I'm not going to play Persona 3 yet. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to wait for this thought. remake. Yeah. <laughs> so um, that's exci- I'm excited about that. Um, they showed a new map for PUBG. That, I'm, that's um, crazy that game is still kicking i mean i guess there's people it that is are surprising super into it, but there are people that yeah. are i think there are people that are into that because it doesn't have like the cartoony yeah. aspects of fortnite yeah it's not the so, build mode exactly yeah. and then uh the final thing they showed was dlc for wulon fallen dynasty which i never did get around to playing um I don't know if I will at this point, because at this point I'll probably just play Liza P instead, because it's the same same type of game, just different setting. Yeah. So why can't uh, I get an Onimushu remaster reloaded <laughs> bullshit edition? That's another one of those games that like they've just forgotten about. Like they existed when it existed and they killed it and they'll never talk about it again. God so good. It's I put this in here for you, Dan. I'm sure you saw the news. Yeah, I mean, uh, well, Ubisoft has officially news. announced they are they are making Division Three. We're making this game and we're hiring people. That's the announcement. Yeah. Okay. I'm sure we'll see it. Maybe you know, 2028, 2029. Xbox but cloud uh, system only exclusive. I'm sure. There you go. Um, I put it in here for you though because I know you I love the love division, division, and I will gladly play a three, but. It makes sense now why they're never going to do a next gen update for two no, if they're going to just work on it. three. Just make a new so. one. Um, the big, the other like big kind of bullshit story of the week besides like this leak, uh, all the fiasco with that Unity <laughs> stuff. <laughs> Shit, they're they're rolling back some aspects of it because of the insane. I mean, I'm talking insane backlash, like a bigger backlash, and rightfully so than like the PSN. Because, like, Sony just did what Sony always does, at least with the PSN uh, price hike, which they just ignored it. Whatever, we're doing it. Full steam well, ahead. Sony's and directly it happened. anti-consumer. They are. Mm-hmm. Unity is anti-developer. But, um, <laughs> yeah. It's just <laughs> wild. Okay, can, wild. This, this one is so wild to me. because, like, you, like, you mentioned the PSN. At least for, like, price hikes against the consumer. They're like, okay, you have until this day. This is the date this goes in. For, like, Unity, from what I understand, and correct me if my facts are a little wrong, their plan was like, hey, I know that a lot of you have used Unity in the past to make games. We're going to start charging you from that. Even if you made your game five years ago in Unity, if it gets downloaded, now you have to pay us. There were some really insane, like, would would it count against previous installs? Well, no, but yes. And then, like, somebody at the company would come out and be like, well, that's not true. And then the next day, be like, well, it is kind of true. We're like, well, what the hell are you talking about? And then it was like, and then it was like, well, how do you judge installs? Well, we judge the amount of installs based on proprietary software we use. Excuse me, what? Yeah, that's what's your proprietary software? Some guy going in an Excel spreadsheet and typing a million. (laughs) Like, is that what that means? Yeah, it's just it's exactly. it's crazy the amount of money they were going to charge. It would also at a point they said it would also count like. Me deleting it and then reinstalling it would yeah, hurt the someone. Reinstall <laughs> no. was the banana thing. No, like, I I just have to make room on my console why, sometimes. <laughs> why can't it just be purchase numbers? Wouldn't that make more sense? That makes way more sense. At but least there's an argument not, to get behind. If you're greedy. Purchase, yeah, there's an argument. <laughs> you could convince me. You can conv- I'd still hate it, but you could convince me on a purchasing numbers side. But when you go into literally installs. Based on yeah. how, what you consider to it's, be an install is crazy. It's insane. It's insane. And then, yeah, we're going to backdate it for all the stuff you made. The amount of developers who were just like, well, I guess we're going to, we're getting off of Unity it was, now. 
yeah, a lot. Because yeah. wow. they, they they even backtracked on it, but like how could you trust Unity at you this point? Like, if you're a developer, <laughs> yeah. like, like, oh, this is the type of shit that you want to get away with. You'll right. figure out a way to get away right. with something like this later. So we're going to go ahead and go elsewhere. I, okay. like, I, I, I don't think, you know, Unreal Engine or whatever really needs to uh, to promote themselves as the little guy I thought now. it would have been funny if they no. would have. But, but, but that's like, by the way, we still don't charge. They you know, should have come out of, hey, contact us for helpful developer tools when you decide to move engines. That's all they <laughs> have to go. put out that's or something. Good. And everybody, oh, God, man, like, yeah. but I think you were, you were joking about it because, you know, the guy who fucked EA has decided to fuck Unity. Yeah, like it's the same guy. Oh man, ridiculous! Now, he's, like, he's, like, uh, talk, talk about just like not reading the room in any kind of real. It just means he's way. next in line for Sony at this point, really. Yeah, yeah there you go. I, I'm sure that's not the end of this story, no. and we'll have more of that. It's gonna, you know, and even if they like, it's gonna like keep Ryan going. Said, even if they backtrack fully, it they they've already damaged it too much, burned a yeah, lot of trust. Already exactly. Ruined. It is. Um, and then fin- the final news thing in here, I, th- I just threw it in here because, uh, I mean, it is kind of a big deal. The CMA has finally agreed to the Microsoft Activision buyout deal. So they finally Ooh. agreed to the new terms. So well, well, this well, deal well, will... Well, almost all the way. They still have... Is it like almost? I, 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 I can't remember the terminology because I'm... Just, okay. It's like pretty so much done. Story, it's, but... it's pretty much done. But I do love the fact that they had to throw in that extra little sass at the end where they were like, okay, if this is what they had just said in the first place. We would have been fine. Fuck <laughs> off. <laughs> like, you just like... You're not going to come out the to, winner in Just trying this. to They're, save face. Yeah, you're yeah. not the winner. Every other dumping... country in the world said it was fine. Except yeah, you. Except the, except the U.S. who also well, who looked tried, like fucking assholes. Who tried and <laughs> yeah. ended up coming out to complete dipshits. But like every other place on the planet said it was fine. And you want to come try to come off as the good guy? It's not going to happen, dude. Like it's over. Do you think – do you think the only reason that they're okay with it is because they're dumping that cloud stuff, which is the only thing they were like really that and hard if, about to Ubisoft? And let me which, and let's point it. This, let's put it this way: if Microsoft is willing to do that for a decade, it means they know it's not ready yet. Yeah, if they if they, if they don't care that much about it, they're okay. Yeah, and also I think like the and. I could be a slightly off on this because yeah. I'm I'm just not an expert on this, but I don't even think that like they're not giving it to no. Ubisoft. They're they're, they're allowing, allowing them Ubisoft to, to purchase it, it yeah, from yeah. them. Yeah, you know, We're like so let they're still Ubisoft like buy it so they can publish our stuff. Yeah, so they're still get, making money off yeah, it. They just like, don't quote unquote control it. In but like, again, it's you know, one of those things where they probably realize you know within however long that's for. I think it's a decade. They just know yeah. that it's if, not really going to be that gets us candy crush. Hell yeah, that's all we want. No, but that if it makes Jim that, Ryan angry, we'll do it. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> uh, that that concludes all the news. We can jump into emails here. Um, we we have some emails directly for you, Ryan. So we're yeah. gonna go through those first because um, we put this out. I think to, two, I'm, two I'm episodes. An e- I'm an egomaniac, on, so. so please, <laughs> I want to <laughs> talk only about me. We knew that's that's all I We tried to promote it as much as possible. <laughs> yeah, we did. Thank you. Perfect. Um, very first email we have comes from Brian from Southport, North Carolina. He says, "Hey guys, been listening to the podcast since your first episode. You had Ryan on. And I love it. I actually have a question for Ryan. I was curious how things have been going on the road and how you feel your career has taken off even more in the past few years. Thanks." Um, the the road's always great. I I love performing. I I got to see you guys. Uh, yeah, some, some of you guys nah, and nah, uh, nah. Nick Henry. Fuck, yeah. fuck you three. <laughs> <laughs> you were invited. I, yeah. You didn't show. This yeah, you, there was a ticket for. Yeah. We had a seat with your name on it. Nah, I don't sitting want to hear that. Right I don't want to hear. Yeah, it was great. You could have done it. Uh, now, like the, the road's great. Like, uh, and this will transition into the next uh, email as well. But we can we'll officially ask the next email. Like. My career is good. Uh, I'll be honest, lost a little momentum because the pandemic hit my particular yeah. career at a weird time. Mm-hmm. But like, I don't have to sleep in my car when I do gigs anymore. So life's pretty good. I'm not <laughs> mad. Uh, but it, it is cool. Like like being on a show like America's Got Talent, even if that's the last thing that I do of any kind of major note in my career, that still is something that people are excited about and, yeah. and people want to see. Um, so so career is good the road's good um it, it's I, I i'm pretty blessed I, I i don't like to take you know i'm not that guy usually 
But like, I I get to buy a house and take care of my family telling dick jokes like yeah. life is <laughs> li- li- life's pretty good <laughs> you know like there's there, there's far worse things like i could be doing uh than that so so yeah yeah C- career is great um uh, i'm always working on new stuff you know i had a special come out uh in april mm-hmm. uh called unarmed and dangerous that you can watch uh it's on amazon prime and Tubi if you're cheap and don't mind ads even though now with Amazon Prime, you, you might be doing ads anyway. <laughs> but um, yeah, yeah. So working on new stuff. Uh, it, life's good. Like I, I'm, I'm, I'm very happy. Um, and then the follow up question that Jeremiah from Bloomington, Illinois, says, "Howdy, all." Question for Ryan: How is fatherhood treating you? So that is why right now I'm not super concerned with being on the road all the time. So. Uh, <laughs> Uh, I, I had uh, my wife and I, we had our first baby uh, back in May. Uh, he was born on Mother's Day, which I've crushed that Mother's Day gift. I will never be able to do better than that, <laughs> I think, for the rest of my life. Um, yeah, it's, uh, got had a little boy. He's named Owen. He's the best. I uh, uh, And he's also the worst. I, I know uh, <laughs> I, I know there's uh, some other people with that have kids on this podcast <laughs> yeah. here. And, and, and he's at four months. He's at the first stage now where he's getting a little cool. Yeah. Okay. Just, just, just just a little bit where mm-hmm. he like actually responds to you and you can make him laugh with certain stuff and yeah. he follows you and he, he, he picks up cues now. He's like, oh, that means we're about to eat until he gets happy and he'll smile at you on FaceTime now and like stuff like that. Mm-hmm. Uh, that, that first two months, nobody tells you. That, Ooh, man, man. That, that kid is an asshole, man. Just Big you time. get nothing. Big you get time. nothing but no no feedback, no smiles, dude. <laughs> no smiles. It can be statistically, your, yeah, real rough. Statistically, I'm one of the funniest human beings on this planet. <laughs> and this kid won't laugh at shit. Uh, so, but, but 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 I love it. I, I basically uh, my wife's back to work right now just because it kind of works for our schedule. So I'm I'm doing the stay at home dad thing. And it's hard. It's not what I envisioned when I wanted to be a dad. I'm picturing <laughs> taking my kid to wrestling events and playing catch in the front yard and, you know, stuff like that. Mm-hmm. Not necessarily the diapers and the feedings and all that. But uh, but but he's the best. It's the it's the best thing I've ever done by far. I love him so much. He's great. Um, and then the next the next question we have for you, John, from Fullerton, California. Howdy, gents. Question for Ryan. Knowing that you're a big game collector, what are some of your recent game pickups for your collection? Do you still have any big holy grails you haven't gotten yet? Honestly, recently. So I, I've uh, I, I've scaled back the, the collecting just a little bit. I'm still buying stuff because I'm a monster and that's just who I am as a person. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so so but right now uh, I'm still trying to finish my N64 complete collection. So I've been I've been kind of getting some some uh, commons for that type of stuff. OK, uh, the, the big thing and I, I mentioned a little bit earlier, the big thing I've put money into recently was my uh, my hyperspin machine. Yeah, basically, because yeah. uh, I, I, I know I could have done it cheaper myself, but I'm just I don't have the time or the energy to learn all that. So I kind of got like a pre-built someone had it figured sure. out for yeah. me. Mm-hmm. And yeah, because uh, when, when the baby allows it, I want to start Twitch streaming and stuff and, and and having basically my game collection on one machine that i can just have hooked up yeah. all the time yeah is clutch for me to do that so that that's the big thing i've collected as far as holy grails i mean is there there's never enough grails never that you ends. can get a hold of <laughs> yeah <laughs> mm-hmm. uh the big things i'm still looking for right now uh dragon warrior 4 i just want to get a cart uh for nes uh that's one of the big ones uh I'm still trying to get the uh, I still need the big or two of the big three for N64. I got a stunt racer not that long ago. OK, okay. Uh, I still I still need sculptors cut and I still oh, need super bowling. Super bowling. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Th- mm. Those are the other two uh, two big ones. And yeah. e- e- even cart only. That's, you know, seven hundred and a thousand dollars. Super bowling, is, super bowling is nuts now, too. Like, yeah, I'm lucky enough where uh, I have a, a sculptors cut and a stunt racer. But like. It's, I don't know if I'll ever want to put in the money to get Super Bowling and yeah. Oh, if I get a little closer others. to finishing, like like I I'm probably two thirds of the way done. I yeah. still have some other little bit of pricey things, but nothing. The N64, relatively speaking, is a pretty easy collection to complete. Like, yeah. like yeah. I, I I don't want to downplay spending a thousand dollars for a game i don't want to <laughs> yeah. say that like that's right but, but yeah. north american it's 296 if you don't do color variants or anything like that right. and honestly there's maybe 
15 games that are more than 100 bucks yeah like a lot of it's of them, pretty attainable there were a lot of copies of a lot of stuff and, and even some of like the weirder like mid-tier blockbuster games are not hard to get like indiana jones yeah. or blitz special edition yeah. those exist you can get those it's yeah, just and, and these last and couple the other thing too ones. i don't think yeah i don't think people understand too like as i kind of started to actually collect it it's more than half like racing and sports games yeah. It's, so oh there's God. a lot of real cheap stuff. The amount of basketball not hard games to get. alone is is yeah. crazy. It, it, it's wild on that front. And, and I, I know there's some gems on here. It's weird that this is one that I've picked to really go for. Because I honestly think the N64 is one of the most overrated <laughs> systems of all time. We talk, we talk yeah. about that a lot. The, 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 the only reason that it's like <laughs> so well thought of now is it happens to have two of the greatest games ever made yeah you know it has ocarina of time and super mario 64 it has, and it's got, it, it's got other good stuff but when you have two you know possibly in the top yeah. 10 games ever made games it has an it incredibly makes you forget how much garbage strong core library of like 15 games that are yeah. like yeah great for that system and then everything else is not worth yeah. it playing and, and, and five five of them are those wrestling games <laughs> well and, and, and i feel too it, it's the, it's the console especially for retro collecting that benefits the most from people's memory of what they thought it was people are yeah. because because right nes games are still a lot of fun to play if they were fun mm-hmm. back then super nintendo games still a lot of fun to play if they were fun back then you cannot tell me that N64 <laughs> Goldeneye is something that you have fun playing in 2023. It's bad. You're, oh, no. you're lying to me it's if bad. you say it's it, it was an influential game. That yes. makes it like I get that. Just because something was influential doesn't mean it's fun today. And that is one of the worst experiences to play in 2023. It's not even the best version of that game on that system because yep, Perfect Dark is a game. better version of that game. It is. But people yep. like for some reason they choose to ignore the fact that perfect dark they exists do. because i used to play gold now with my friends like i get that part but yeah perfect dark i feel like i could at least play that too because it has bots in it it is a game on a nintendo 64 yeah. that has intelligent bots games in 2023 <laughs> and, and, and big matches I, th- I think you could do like 16 you could do like 15 um, bots you can you could do, like like do quite a few but it the the, the uh frame rate gets if real bad it, but if you put yeah, them but on if you 64 it's yeah, always it's, it's yeah. yeah exactly if you put if you put i remember that game because if you put them on dark sim they are incredibly difficult yeah but uh that game also has weird bugs where like if you die tranked you respawn tranked which is fucking <laughs> awful in that game but um, uh, in, in, in fairness that's what happens in real life too yes, so. that's true. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah but yeah it's I, I agree though. Like that's we 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 talk about it pretty commonly on the podcast. Like the N sixty four, it is a very much, and it's that total thing too, where people think back on it fondly, but then you it's sit a, them in front of that system. Even though I don't like it, go, it is oh. a it, it is a fun system to collect for. It is, and I think I yeah. think the, a big reason of that is like they are tangible cartridges. The boxes yeah. when you find the boxes are very colorful. They yes. are so, a good and, and size. The, the, the cart variation is a yes. lot of fun too. Yeah, there's a lot like, of oh, weird. This is a green cart. This is a red cart. This is a blue cart. And, that, and that, that, that's fun for whatever reason. That, it's a lot of fun to get that. You stuff. know, there's a lot more like not for resale stuff, or there's weird stories about cartridges like Rage Wars, where uh, there's a gray Rage Wars because yeah. that game didn't work in the first place. So how many of those yeah, actually <laughs> exist? It's, it's there, there's uh, one one of the WWF games. There's like a zero zero one variant that's like uh, you had to mail in to fix it. Yeah. it was like a bug. That was how the they, That's how they fixed stuff back then. Um, yeah, even yeah. DS games did that. There were um, mm-hmm. there was a card battle game which could not be beaten. So in order to fix it, you had to mail it in to get a new one. Mail it yeah. in. There you go. But that's, I think that's why 64 is fun to collect for. Also, it's fun to, 64 also has like fun accessories to collect for because yeah. controller the, colors, the, the color, variations. The colors of the systems and stuff themselves. The fun, fun yeah. Those are cool. Super cool. Yeah. You know, transfer banana Max. controller yeah. is so the neat. Banana <laughs> one's awesome. The Millennium one, the gold Toys of Russ. Like it, it was the first system where it really came out and it's like, they made that system even when it existed. They made that system about collecting because there were different colors yeah. and like a transfer packs, memory cards, um, third party accessories were huge for that system too, with like expansion packs and all that kind of weird shit. I have a third. I bought yeah, a third party expansion pack for that system, <laughs> and it's so ghetto. It actually you have to take the door off, and it sticks out the top. 
Oh, but it's it was, actually uh, yeah, it's yeah, like I've seen those. Yeah, thing, but it was cheaper. I've so my those. dad was like, "You can get that one." Okay, <laughs> it worked. Well, yeah, it was like what I remember, like when I was a kid, I got like when they had the memory cards for the sixty four. You put in the back controller, like all the ones I had were the third party, the, the not official one, yeah. ones, third party that would stick out further. Well, because, Nintendo memory yeah. cards never held enough yeah. space. Oh, go buy another no. one. No. Even for GameCube, never did. GameCube, that was a. Uh, an, an atrocity like animal crossing was so bad it had to come with one and then you could only <laughs> use that game yeah, memory card for animal crossing yeah I, I i love the uh the third party solutions like modern that they've done yeah basically like make like i can't remember what the brand is and someone can look it up but it's basically a digital gamecube uh memory card that works off your computer and then yeah. it kind of works off wi-fi i remember that and basically yeah. you can make almost like an infant like theoretically an infinite amount infinite of memory blocks. cards yeah. forever yeah yeah i remember my favorite thing when we were when we were at gamestop was when people would trade in gamecube games that would still have memory cards we didn't take the memory cards so i, hey, I memory, card. memory cards was always for me yeah and i well, i have like over 30 game yeah. memory cards yeah, that. so and i just they're just a little those, thing like 1019s just... back there <laughs> well that's like uh um, I, ryan will appreciate this i don't know if i told you this last time but when people were trading game cubes at uh game crazy with the nintendo component cables don't mind if oh. i do yeah. and then i would just buy yeah, a ten dollar av cable and go ahead and put that with that and now i have a yeah, yeah, 350 if, if, if dollar cable <laughs> Yeah, if you have an extra one of those floating around, I wouldn't mind uh, robbing actually, you for it. I actually <laughs> probably do, and if I was going to sell it to anyone, it would be you. So <laughs> I, will, I will look Let for it this weekend. Let me know if you ever find it, yeah. It, it, it's not a huge priority that I need. But it's one of those I, things where... Well, I would say I want. <laughs> yeah, it's one of those things where like they're so weird, you couldn't buy them in stores, you had to get them through Nintendo, um, and they have still... like. We're getting closer to replicating those things, but I don't think anything's even gotten it correct, like fully yet. They're getting pretty close, yeah. but if you want to play a GameCube properly, that's the best way to do it with like official parts. Yeah. yeah. Um, more emails we got. We got Ramon from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Hey guys, thanks for reading my email on the last podcast. I always enjoy the input you guys bring to the industry. However, I'm emailing back is I'm curious what you all think about the massive leak that happened with Microsoft. We essentially know the rough outline of their plans for the next decade, even going into the next council generation. Do you think this damages them at all? Or do you think they walk away from this leak just fine? Um, I mean, we went into very big details on it, but yeah. I think they're fine. Yeah, like, no, no, no one will care. The, the only time that anyone's going to care about this going forward is when those things happen a, a, or don't happen. <laughs> right. it, it, yeah. if, it, it, if it happens the way that like, oh, there's that thing. I remember yeah. that. But like, yeah. you're either going to buy it or not. Like, I don't think anyone who wanted to buy the new thing is turned off because of the leak. No. And no one's convinced to buy anything now because yeah. of if the any, leak either if yeah. anything also it's a good litmus test for them on the digital part of it because like now they can look they at can it and go, okay, people really aren't market reacting. research is like yeah do people are people into this controller well there's a lot of buzz on the controller online mm -hmm. and you're right it's going to be the kind of thing where in two years when they don't release something that had a timeline on it where is that <laughs> what they said they were doing that's what's going to be but in terms yeah, of like yeah, I, the, the other the only other uh, was it the uh nvidia leak yeah, the, the, the only thing that is like the only time it's ever brought up <laughs> is when people go, "It was right." Yeah, but, yeah. It doesn't, but it doesn't mean. But nobody nobody's ever... like, "I don't want to play this game because I knew about <laughs> it three years ago." Man. Yeah. Remember, <laughs> like, remember yeah, nobody does. Nvidia that. also leaked Final Fantasy Nine Remaster, so and they, uh, <laughs> hey, maybe maybe that's a twenty thirty five game when Final Fantasy Seven is done. <laughs> Fair enough. Yeah. Um, I like this email, and I actually forgot to talk about this part of the leak. Uh, this comes from Grady from Income, Idaho. He says, howdy, guys. One question, Doom Year Zero. So I forgot to mention, there were a couple games in that leak from Bethesda. It was only Bethesda that there was in there. Like, there's obviously, and I'm not surprised by this. We're going to make a Dishonored 3. Yeah. That was one of them in there. But, yeah, there was a Doom Year Zero, which apparently was supposed to be out in, like, 2022. That just didn't happen. And I wonder if that got shoved aside because of the other stuff that's being worked on. Like stuff Indiana Jones. Yeah. Like there's, there's a Wolfenstein game still in development. <laughs> like, exactly. Like there's, there's a too. lot of stuff. There's still like 
we know more about that isn't out yet. Like, will Doom Year Zero probably happen? Probably. Those games are incredibly popular. I mean, like, I mean, I look at this and I go, well, you called the last one Doom Eternal, yeah, so where else can you this go? Is logically, the yeah. only way you can go is probably a prequel now. But uh, I would love to have another Doom. Game, it'll happen. So that could that could easily be happen. like an E3 oh, yeah. next year announcement. I'm sorry. A Microsoft showcase next year announcement. There, yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, yeah. E three's so. e- 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 done. I'm sure you guys have talked done about again. it. But like, oh yeah, e- it's E e- three is done in the traditional way that gamers think of what E three is. I'm sure some kind of exist, like whatever. But like, it's done. It's yeah. not. They don't need it anymore. No, no company needs exactly. it. No. <laughs> now the minute you control the your minute, own was news it, Sony was mm-hmm. the first one, I think, that pulled out of it mm-hmm. to do their own digital event. And then obviously Nintendo has done has done that. Now Microsoft does like there's no need for it anymore. And like so. it already kind of already exists in a different form, like PAX exists. So E3 yeah. doesn't have to exist anymore. Well, and Keeley does his own thing now right. that's kind of tied summer into like Game summer games. It's like, kind of the same thing. Yeah. So yeah, with Gamescom and Game Award. Like there's, yeah. there's so yes, many of it. Like, like Yeah, you're done. You're done. The E3. Bad one you will you will away. still get your next may slash june you'll still get your events that are always around that time yeah. so yeah it's just not in the e3 traditional sense so um here we go for for you dan i know you love the GameStop always. emails we still get them <laughs> uh jason from redacted i'm afraid this is going to be another <laughs> rant email from yet another manager regarding the this gamestop tax on trade credit bullshit but jesus christ i can't handle this shit now i'm going to pause the email here do you know about what the, we're talking about ryan with the tax i, I, I don't okay um for, for whatever reason for me the last straw with gamestop i ordered a brand new clearance game from their website and they sent okay. me a plain black case with just the card in it <laughs> oh, yeah. i immediately i immediately okay. canceled pro and told them i, I mean last, last time i was on i yeah. had the big rant about yeah. like it's not new if you open yeah. the yeah. package <laughs> yeah it's not that's new. bad uh why don't you explain so just a, a really it's quick a while. thing is for forever if you traded in 40 dollars worth of games 40 dollars was 40 dollars so if you wanted a 40 dollar game even exchange pretty much no tax that has changed so now there is tax on that amount which is an insane switch because that was never the case. And it just kind of yeah. happened overnight. They didn't really tell anybody about it. Yeah, the only reason that's I found out part. about it is my one friend who still works there texted me. <laughs> she was like, I can't believe what the hell is happening right now. And then she complained <laughs> about it enough up the chain where they eventually got like an update through their system where it was like, oh, yeah, by the way, this is happening now. And yeah. that was how everybody found it's, out. So, so it's it's wild. So what it makes too is like let's say you go in and you pre-order uh you you fully trade in a bunch of stuff fully paid off a game whatever the next big game let's say Assassin's right. Creed now you go in to pick that up oh you still owe like for whatever for the because tax when you because... pre-order you're not technically buying it so it can't charge you tax it can only oh, yeah. Yeah, you're, you're pre-ordering the yes. sixty nine ninety nine yes. or fifty nine ninety nine yes. so then when yeah. you go to ring it through it goes okay okay cool now we need to charge your state tax on it. Or your your yeah. federal tax on it. So now it's like so an extra seven dollars, please. Garbage. Insane. Um, I'll, I'll continue yeah. here because he 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 goes yeah. through it. Uh, I'm to the point of ripping out my hair with frustration, having to explain to each and every custo guest that comes Great in that term. this shit has changed. Yes, it's changed. No, I don't like it. No, I can't do dick about it. Yes, you can have the corporate number and call to complain. No, they won't give a fuck. This has to be single-handedly the worst decision this company has made, and shit, they've had some bad ones in the past decade. It's completely alienated the core GameStop customer, which is the only thing this godforsaken company has left. I hate it with a growing passion that only burns brighter every day, and thankfully has burned bright enough. For, uh, I've got two interviews to get out next week. But after hearing the rants on your last podcast, I had to just get it off my chest. Fuck this decision. <laughs> Thank you for taking my email. This is yeah, it's it's awful and like, it's insane. Again, this is the kind of thing where the store people now have to become the front lines for every argument about this kind of <laughs> stuff. And oh, yeah. he's right. Like, call corporate. Yeah, you can call corporate. A, no one's going to answer. B, if someone does, they <laughs> they, they are not from they are from across the ocean. And C, mm-hmm. they they probably don't even know what the hell you're talking about. So no one can help you. I am sorry. This is how it is. Yeah, it's like it's it's just every 
couple months, it's something else. It's something else. It's something else. It's another thing. Add this on. I haven't. It's been a while since I've seen a company that's like, do they want to go out of business? Because like they don't ever make a dis- they don't ever the make a decision that's popular. Yes, I think the answer is yes. I think there is there has to be something about how if this thing goes down, Chewy dot com gets his money. Like there has to yeah. be something about it because remember he's in charge again now because that other yeah. guy you're get out of here you're gone. I'm in charge. No. And they just have not bothered to fill that spot. And no. it's either they haven't bothered or they literally cannot find anyone to do it. Probably the second one. Because no yeah. one wants to come into this guy's playhouse and fuck around with his decisions. Because you're just going to get exactly. fired in a year. Yeah. So there, it's... there's got to be some kind of scam going where if it tanks or if it goes out a certain way or if they make X amount of dollars, he gets a huge cut and then he can walk out. Because he did it to that's Bed, what I would He did it to Bed Bath and Beyond, and Bed Bath and Beyond disappeared, and then now it's back yep. as Overstock.com bought the domain and just renamed themselves that. Oh, okay. that's how that went down. So do you think he rolls it into that? Oh, or do you think it? Or rolls yeah, GameStop, it into yeah. yeah, GameStop is too big of a name, though. I think it's he would name. just keep it as a website that sure. sells. Well, that was the plan. Yeah. I always thought the plan when he took over was to make it a website. That made more sense than to keep all of these stores open during COVID. Yeah. yeah. But he never fully committed, and then he backed off because the stock thing went <laughs> crazy, and I'm sure yeah. he made a shitload off of that. Oh, for in sure. In theaters now. It, yeah. <laughs> was it dumb money? I think it's it actually money. is yeah. out, yeah. too. It is, yeah. It's out. Yeah. I know an ex-manager friend of mine who went to go see it, and the first thing okay. I asked another friend was, "Why? Like, yeah, you what lived, you, like, <laughs> you, le- you lived it. You lived all these dumbass guys learn? coming in, going, yeah. ha ha, stocks. <laughs> like, yeah, cool, man. Now it's bad again. Congratulations. Uh, yeah, no. Uh, our other email, we got another GameStop email. Rudy from Redacted. Hey, all, I've got a question you can hopefully help me with. Manager of about eight years now and something crazy has happened. Our regional manager was just let go due to performance issues. At least that's what the hot gossip is. My question is, did this ever happen when you all worked there? I feel like I've witnessed some sort of wonder of the world event here that will not be seen for another 150 years or something. Um, Did we ever have a regional? Oh, it is in, I don't know how that it's would rare. work. How, how would a regional manager get fired for performance? I don't he know. He has almost no direct control over performance. Who's the? Who would be the next person above a regional? Of, uh, vice president, like a zone vice okay. president or something. Okay. But like Just, you'd, your, your region, which these days is very large – would have to be oh, yeah. failing on a catastrophic level for you to be for I mean, <laughs> you to be let yeah. go. Because normally yeah. before those people let go, district managers get the, fired. And normally before yes. district managers get fired, store managers store get managers fired. Store managers get fired. So yeah. like for a regional get fired for, for performance, that sounds like that's the corporate answer. And that there is a another yeah, answer. something else was yes. going on. Yeah, maybe, that's maybe what they I think walked too. in on him doing blow in a bathroom at a GameStop. <laughs> there you go. That's Maybe. plausible. There's GameStops with bathrooms. Uh, yeah, but there's also <laughs> systems in there. So yeah. Oh, oh yeah, we could we go down that route. Depending oh, on God. the size of your store, it could be ninety yeah. percent systems and ten. I remember toilet. that store. Yeah, there's. Yeah. yeah, I worked at that one for about a year. Um, but I, see, I'm no. a man who needs at least twenty percent toilet in a bathroom. No, I'm just sorry. Who I am. I'm sorry. <laughs> the one I'm talking about was was really bad. Uh, it was already – the bad. bathroom was already tiny, so the bathroom is even less than that. And it was literally like Wii's, Xboxes on top of each other, accessories, it, everything it I, was in there. I worked one shift at that store as a favor because my best friend was the ASM at that store at the time. And he begged me the night before because whoever called off, he's yeah. like, please just come work this day. And I'm like – all right, fine, man. I'll do it. And I, the, by the end of the day, I was like, never again, man. Yeah. <laughs> like it's between that it's bathroom funny. shit. Like it's, I've, oh my I God, have, that story. I have covered at stores that <laughs> the back room and the bathroom were smaller than that. Oh, that's yeah, absurd. It's, um, they, the only thing no I can planning. think it would be smaller is like if it's a mall store. Uh, or that one was not. It was a strip there. store. 
Yeah, yeah. It, was a, it, was, it was it was a, a very bizarre center. one where it was three times as deep as a normal store, but only half as wide, and it was twice <laughs> as tall because the ceilings were. Up I always and felt high. like we were pretty blessed because, so like, we had a we had a decent sh- back. I mean, we had a very nice bathroom in comparison. We didn't have to, to put anything in it in terms of space. That was the no. plus. Uh, Except so. for that big old shit. Yeah, well. hell yeah. <laughs> what, uh, that, that's a question I was going to bring, uh, bring up. Remember, for a while, I had brought in a bunch of old like EGM posters be in the bathroom. Who told you that I had to take them down? Was that the DM? Some DM at the time? told me we had to take them down. Okay, like they got put fun. down because we had can't even put up video yeah, yeah, game related posters in a bathroom. A customer's not allowed. Some of to them use. from Game Informer. Yeah, yeah from exactly. A, from a magazine we own and publish. Those can exactly. hang up in the store anyway. Because at some point I was like, I found a bunch of these old, like, uh, I'm talking like in the early yeah. 2000s, like Tony Hawk and stuff. And oh. I was like, we'll put these in the bathroom. And then like, I just remember coming in one day, like, oh, I had to take those posters down. Yeah. There's an argument to be made that they couldn't be on the, fun. they can't be on the sales floor because there's a marketing thing or whatever. That. Fine. Yeah. Where customers can't see them and never go. Customers never going to see that. No, they weren't allowed in the back. Yeah. Uh, you could get fi- <laughs> you could get fired if you let someone in the back to go to the bathroom. You would be terminated. Oh, yeah, I know yeah. that. Uh, but yeah, a re- so a regional being terminated for performance it's... is a code name. That means something else. It means something yeah. happened. Um, yeah, like something something it, bad. It's because the that's only what regional I, I can even to. remember like being like straight up fired was when we merged um, regions and his position was eliminated. And yeah, I did a little dance that day because that guy was a human piece of shit, and he deserved <laughs> to be fired because he was—he's just an ass. Every interaction with that guy was bad, every single. Yeah, one. and it was because he, and he—he he was the kind of guy who would brag like my kid likes to tell his friends that I work at GameStop. Bro, you don't work at GameStop. You yell at seventeen-year-olds. That's <laughs> exactly. not the same thing. That's no. Not in, that, in that case, I work at the park. Yeah, <laughs> there you go. <laughs> you work at the bus station at eleven thirty yeah. at night. <laughs> uh, next email we has come from Chris from Arrington, Tennessee. Did you all find this to be yet another letdown of a PlayStation showcase? Sure, seeing more of Spider Man Two is nice, but it's out in a month. Hey, Final Fantasy VII Rebirth date is awesome, but that's not a first party game. What the actual fuck is going on with Sony's first party output? I feel like this is the second or third direct in a row where they just are keeping all their cards in hand and not showing anything. Do you think this has anything to do with the lawn rumored PS5 Pro? Thanks. I mean, like we were talking about earlier, clearly they're working on stuff. They don't Uh have anything to show right now because they're probably not close to ready. That's no. just it, it's the nature of triple A games in twenty twenty three. Like they just take too long to make and they've scheduled probably strangely, because they, they they had a pretty <laughs> they had a pretty baller twenty twenty two. Yeah, and they've had some good yeah. stuff this year. But I think they have I think a lot of these companies have also learned the mistake of showing stuff too early. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I think back on like, hey, remember when they announced Final Fantasy Seven remake oh, and then you didn't hear anything about it for four years? Or how about Kingdom Hearts three? Like but Kingdom like Hearts four, Metroid Prime four, yeah. Kingdom, Hearts Metroid Prime 4. Kingdom Hearts four has been announced. Where's that? Then Nintendo. Yeah. I mean, I remember Nintendo even came out and said, "Hey, we announced Tears of the Kingdom too soon." Yeah, because I remember they, it was every direct. Are we going to see it? Are we going to well, see it? And they have to come out ahead of time. The no. other thing about Sony is they really <laughs> like to pretend that like second party studios like insomniac and are stuff part are, of them. are them yeah they like to really they will do that like the spider-man push is great like spider-man only on, you don't make that someone else does yeah <laughs> yeah, yeah but, but it's here's also the thing. like the first one's also so- on pc now yeah, yeah. I, I was gonna say sony fans though also think that way they do i, I, they do. I, 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 I mean it. yeah look, 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 look recently about how all these claims that Baldur's gate 3 is a playstation exclusive oh, yes. <laughs> you know and it's like no you dorks like just it's you can play it elsewhere just like 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 but, but that but that's like the kind of culture they've built for better or mm-hmm. worse so they can kind of get away with it right. for a little bit but yeah, like, yeah. No, nobody thinks that final fantasy 7 rebirth isn't a sony game i it, would it's not made by that no, but, but, but i would bet but, you but, some people sure I, but, yeah. but, but casually sure. casually when yeah. when you're talking about what games are coming up well sony's got this like no, nobody's thinking of it in the first party, right? Except for yeah. people like us who care. But yeah. casually, it's like, oh, this is a Sony game because I can only play it on Sony. They're gonna milk that, I think, for a lot of twenty twenty three because I don't think they have oh, for anything. Sure. No, right and it's now. another good example. Like for this year, two of the biggest games they promoted have been Final Fantasy games. Two of yep. them. <laughs> yeah, 
That's it's crazy. nuts. But yeah, they, it is crazy. What are the odds that the next Sony game announced is just MLB 24, a game that will be on Game Pass <laughs> day one, but yeah. not on their own. But service. not on theirs. Yeah, which yeah, is because now, MLB which is said, now a hundred and thirty dollars. <laughs> yeah, it will not be on that it's, one. Yeah, it's like Jesus, man. Insane. I, 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 Ryan, I complain about this a lot, but I, I maintain that that is still the craziest one to me because they don't even put last year's baseball on plus no or the one before yeah, I, or the one before yeah, they're, they're, i think of where's the harm? they'll do it uh because, because like microsoft is still clearly behind like xbox oh, yeah. is behind I, I i would not claim that they're not right but as things move forward those subscription services is just going to be what's i mean it's how, how it worked with movies and television but yeah. like like, like uh, unless you're 108 years old, like who's watching CBS <laughs> on a Tuesday night at seven right. to make sure they see their show. Right. You yeah. Know, like, like, no, like nobody consumes TV that way. Movie no. theaters are still because it's a little bit of an experience. But like sure. Super Mario Brothers movie was on streaming within what, a month or two it was a month of it. Like it was pretty fast. That That's going to be how people want to like do get everything. And, and, I, and I think. Again, they're, they're still behind in a lot of ways because of other reasons, but Xbox has figured that out, that yeah. that's going to be what it's going to be, and they're ahead yeah. of it. And, and eventually, it always works that way. Sony it's, will will do it, we'll and they'll it. eventually be like, okay, for us to compete now. Because as soon as Microsoft starts getting some actual first-party games yeah. that people want to play, yeah, Sony's going to go, okay, shit, we have to do this to compete. You know, like, yeah. and, and, and that's what it's going to be. It's just but, crazy. Like, yeah, right now it's crazy. Yeah. It's so ridiculous. <laughs> Starfield's kind of been the first one that has had people turn their heads, and I think like if they if they can keep up the momentum that, like next year, I think you could see I that mean, definitely. Obviously, happening. player yeah. numbers for Starfield include PC because they're going to, but those numbers are to. incredibly strong yeah. for yeah, Starfield <laughs> for a game that everybody was writing off because it's only on. It's not coming to PlayStation. No. It does, the numbers are the, crazy for that game. The the amount of people, uh, and again, it's anecdotal, but right. like I know a lot of people who got Game Pass so they can play it. Yeah, yeah. And, and, and will they keep Game Pass? Some will, some won't. Who knows? Like that's you know up to them. Sure. That's but the like, point. But people got yeah. like, oh, this is a game I wanted to, and I can just I can try it out for fifteen bucks or whatever. Yeah. I can just go do that for a month. That's your rental. That's, awesome. that's renting a video yeah, game I, now. I had like two or three people that I had on my friends list since like the 360 era that when PS4 came out and the whole Xbox one thing, they went over to PlayStation that I've seen in the last month. Like all of a sudden, hey, they're back online and they're playing Starfield (laughs) probably through the PC. But like, I just I find it interesting. So like but this that I think that is kind of going to be the start of it is uh, hopefully Starfield where they're going to be like, okay, something's happening here. Um. Rundy from Jamestown, Georgia. Hey, guys, I love the conversation you had on one of your recent episodes about different scares you've experienced in your own lives. As the spooky season approaches, are there any horror movies you are planning on seeing? Any that you watch annually? Um, I'm the big horror movie yeah, person here. So um, I will tell you this year, um, my my best friend and I, I mean, we've been texting each other. We text each other the same dumb pictures every day, but one of them is a picture of the Exorcist Believer poster. Woo-hoo. Uh we will be going to see that that weekend. Um very I'm very excited for that. Same like, here. I've watched the trailer like ten times. Like it just looks like it looks awesome. Um for me annually, um horror movies. I so the the thing that's crazy is like when I'm working during the day, I work from home. I usually have my server on, which I have a bunch of movies and stuff that are cataloged and they're always playing on the TV behind me. Um, so like I, I have horror movies playing annually, um, like all year round. But as far as like hollow, like the Halloween season goes, um, the, the, the biggest ones, like I always watch, uh, night of the living dead every year. It's one of my favorites. I always watch the 92 Dracula. That's another favorite of mine. And then uh, this is it. This actually goes more with Christmas, but I thought this was funny. Um, so this year, for the first time ever, we have a drive in in our area. And for the first time this year, they're actually going to be open in through December. Oh, and so they just announced like what they're going to do for the holidays. Right. So they got a bunch of holiday movies for Christmas. One weekend, I kid you not, is the Kyle weekend oh. for Christmas. I mean, can I guess? It can is. I guess, I'm not can I guess g- one of them? Guess one it. of them is Krampus. Yes. Yeah. What's the other one? <laughs> Christmas, 
Chris, it's a Christmas horror? Is but, it Jack Frost? Please, please. I say, please say it's Jack Frost. Say it's that's Jack one of Frost. the worst movies <laughs> I've ever seen. No, no, no. no, no. Please uh, say it's Jack Frost 2. Yeah. No. <laughs> think, think, I'll, I'll give you a hint. Think 80s for the Christmas other Christmas horror. Black Christmas? Older. Home Alone. No. That's a horror movie. Close. <laughs> that is a horror movie. <laughs> that is a horror girl, movie from a small from child the, almost part of the wet two bandits. Men. Yes. <laughs> yeah. It, so I would think it. I would think of it more uh, around Christmas because it takes place during the Christmas season. I, I don't know. I can't. Gremlins. Oh okay. yeah, I can give you. So that. it is. It is that. Krampus. It is Gremlins. I saw them posted That's on crazy. Facebook, and my girl, my girlfriend huge. works overnights. I text her. I'm like, we have to fucking do this. Like she and I will watch Krampus every year annually around Christmas. So I think he's watching it right now. Since that movie guys. came out, <laughs> <laughs> so um, that's not that's not when I watch it. Uh, Halloween, I watch it at Christmas. Yeah. But like that's my like when I was growing up, my Christmas movie was obviously Ralphie. Like everybody watches a Christmas story, yeah. but uh, since since being my girlfriend, like it has turned into Krampus <laughs> since I came out in theaters, and we watch it every year. Kyle so dresses up like uh, Krampus. that was really nuts. Really exciting. Uh, but like, yeah, other horror movies, like I always watch Halloween. I always love Friday the 13th, but those are always on in the background, like every day. And so I see parts of them like every day I'll look up like in the mode call like, oh yeah, that's that part of that movie. So, um, but yeah, those are, those are kind of, uh, you know, kind of some of mine. I don't know if you guys have any, you guys aren't as big into horror Matt stuff is. as I am. You're a horror oh, guy. Oh yeah. 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 You what are. Stuff okay. Do you watch Matt. Um, so I unfortunately don't have like movies I watch per season. Um, my wife will probably make me watch Hocus Pocus there you uh, go. just because it's the Halloween season. Um, we'll probably end up watching Nightmare Before Christmas somewhere between October and December. But like, I'm kind of like Kyle. I watch I watch horror movies throughout the entire year. Uh, <laughs> yeah. So like, I just recently finished um, The Pope's Exorcist. And yeah, I need to watch it still. I haven't watched it yet. That was that was. It wasn't. It wasn't like really scary, but the story in it was like super good. Like I, I really appreciated what they did. Okay. Um, I <laughs> am really excited for the Exorcist Believer. I think that's going to be a really good one. Um, it's not really horror, but I'm really excited to see Saw Ten. Okay. Uh, I checked out a saw after three, so. Well, this one is the <laughs> was story. Was that Tokyo Drift? <laughs> there you go. <laughs> oh, he's tricycle as he's going around? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Just drifting. Um, but this one is the story between two and three. Like, how we okay. got there. I haven't so, even watched the trailer for it, so. Yeah. So it's not like, it's not like Saw Spiral or it's not moving forward. <laughs> it's actually coming back. And I think, I was discussing it the other day. I think they're moving back because. Uh, the guy Tobin, who plays you know Jigsaw, yeah, it was such like a big part of he the is actual story. Yeah, he is right. it, Yeah. So I think what they're doing is they've left enough gaps in between movies where they can bring him back and okay. put him in the movie where it makes sense. Because like, All right. if you watch the trailer for it, it makes complete sense where this right. movie l- lays and how you got from two to three. So okay. it, it's pretty, interesting. I'm interested in seeing that one. Um, I know the one I'm bothering you about. You haven't watched yet, but I watched because I was waiting and counting yes. down for it to come to streaming. Talk, is, to, uh, me. talk to me. I really, which I really that. liked a lot. So I need to watch that too. I, I'm going to try to watch it this weekend. My, my downfall is my wife doesn't allow me to watch scary movies <laughs> at home. And so like I have a TikTok page where I like to review different random stuff. And like I reviewed, watching a movie called the exorcism of god on yeah it. you told me about that one i have to and watch it too in the comments was that a like, jrpg a- yeah that was it was uh yeah <laughs> it sounds like where, it's the one where joint. they got the kitten and the kitten they had <laughs> to <laughs> shove the kitten through yeah <laughs> <laughs> um but yeah she was in the comments and she like did you watch that at home and i was like no nah, i was like at the doctor's office or something yeah. and i just put it on <laughs> no i was with my second family <laughs> Yeah, I, I was at church. <laughs> so yeah, I don't have a like I don't have movies that I normally watch. I just kind of watch whatever I'm feeling, whenever I'm feeling it. But I'm like a big horror movie buff. I I'm just not like as you know. Just, wow, I'm also lucked out because like my girlfriend likes horror movies but like that's also like i can tell her like hey i'm gonna watch this tonight do you care and like nine out of ten times the horror movie she she will not care 
Yeah. So yeah. I can get away with that. <laughs> yeah. You know, my downfall is my toddler doesn't go to bed till like two o'clock in the morning. Yeah. And so like it's my cute. thing is I You're would normally watch. Yeah. Oh, God. Oh, <laughs> no. That's, that's my horror. That's movie a thing. Right there. Yeah. there you go. <laughs> toddler Tara coming to a theater near you. Um, there you go. But yeah. So like my thing is typically he watches his own like tablet. But like anytime I put something scary on in on my TV, he starts gravitating towards it. Yeah. So then my uh, worry is like fucking like Chucky's gonna pop out and he's gonna <laughs> wake up in the mor in the middle of the night and be terrified. But yeah, I I have a couple movies I'm super stoked for coming out, and I definitely am excited to see them whenever I get the opportunity. So I'll just I'll go quick because Kyle knows that I don't really like a lot of horror stuff, but the oh, horror God, but the no. horror I do like is really shitty dumb horror. So like yeah. um, Happy Death Day, you like psychological. I like stuff. thriller stuff, yeah. but like Happy Death Day, I wa- like I don't like slasher stuff a lot, but like Happy Death well, Day, you like that one because it's 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 more of a yeah. time travel weird kind of a thing. Did you see the second yeah. one? Yes, I did. I wish they would. Oh, make, yeah. I wish they would make the third one, but I, that's not going to happen. Um, the one so the one I'm excited for coming up is that totally killer one where yeah, she goes back in time to keep that. like her mom's mm-hmm. friends from dying or something but it's set in the yeah. 80s so i'm gonna get a whole oh, bunch yeah, of yeah, yeah. I know funny 80s about. jokes and there's in the trailer there's a joke there's a back to the future joke and all this stuff like so i'll be into that because i like anything that kind of plays with like time travel or like when they go into the movie or like that kind of because sh- there's that that final yeah I usually movie. i can tell you yeah i usually you can tell you I'm like i'll watch it be like yeah, you probably yeah. like this one, Dan, or uh, like this what was one. The other dumb no. one I watched Countdown <laughs> with the the phone app that tells you when you're yeah. gonna die, and it turns out it's just a stupid <laughs> demon thing. Just like who fuck cares? Yeah, like uh, <laughs> yeah, I, I like watching that shit, but I don't really watch other stuff. You won't watch the gore. Nah, I can't get yeah, like... that stuff anymore. But I'll play Mortal Kombat. Completely different. <laughs> exactly. Completely different. You watch you watch a man get ripped in I half will, in Mortal Kombat. Yeah, I will but... punch a hole through a man's chest, but I will not watch someone get stabbed. <laughs> no. Uh, anything for you, Ryan? Nah, I'm not, I'm not a horror movie you guy know. at all. Like, I just don't. Yeah. I, 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 I'm, so many horror movies seem to be jump scare related yeah i don't which I, which, 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 which I think is just cheap and mm-hmm. i don't like that feeling i like i don't like roller coaster i don't like that like sensation like yeah. some people do and, and, and also too like I'll, I'll admit this is just my personal failing i think about that shit too much and okay. like yeah like, like, like you want to know the kind of horror stuff that i do uh i i will accidentally stay up until six in the morning because i went down a rabbit <laughs> hole watching plane crash uh youtube okay yeah 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 but, but like, but like, not into, like and, and yeah. i fly all the time i don't know why i do this to myself but like i'll see like i'll see one that's like like informational about like well here's like you know how they did the stunt they determined this wiring would did the and it's fascinating but then i'm like oh god i gotta fly tomorrow yeah. why am i doing this <laughs> watching one I went like, down this, to, is, this is a what happened on a flight from the town you're leaving from to the town you're going to oh basically I better, yeah. Get in yeah, on that yeah. it was like this time last year i went down a hole of watching a bunch of those um like the ring doorbell camera oh, stuff God. on youtube or like yeah. people are doing shit which which results in me buying a fourth camera for my house <laughs> and my girlfriend saying you can't watch those anymore <laughs> yeah, yeah so it's it, just it, like well, it, i need to see the one angle of our house outside that i can't see now so now I can now see all four sides. All of a sudden, now there's like, one looking at his front door from inside and one up the stairs. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, no cameras house, are allowed in the house. <laughs> just to make sure. So, but yeah, no, I, I like, I, I've always loved horror movies. So, but I grew up in that era. I think the big thing for me and Dan, you, you love Goosebumps too, oh, yeah. but I grew up with Goosebumps and that's dark what kind of Twilight. Was my I love that kind of stuff. Gateway yeah. into it. So. Which we'll see. The jury's out on this new Goosebumps series. We'll see. Yeah. I don't know. Did you watch the trailer no, for that? I'll Dan? just watch the fucking show. I don't okay. care anymore. I, I have no self respect. I don't know. Matter. I don't know. Had a boy. <laughs> I'm gonna watch it, but I don't know. That was I watched, my response. I watched out. both seasons of that Mighty Ducks trash. You think I won't watch Goosebumps? Yeah, you did. <laughs> I'll be fine. Fair, fair enough. Um, hopefully, I'm saying this right. Bradley, Bray, 
Bradley there from only uh, Maryland. <laughs> hey guys, you, with you the phone with Bradley. Yeah, that one guy. <laughs> You don't know half of it. <laughs> oh, no, I'm bad when it comes to pronouncing stuff. That's why at my job, when people call and they say what their name or I wait for them. Like if I look up their profile, I'm like, OK, and I see their name. I'm like, OK, and I let them say their name. And they're usually I like to play. Sometimes the they'll be games. nice. Sometimes they'll be super nice. And like I had one guy I remember not at the job I'm at now, but previous job he called. And the first thing he said to me, when we got on the phone. He's like, look, I know my name's a nightmare. You can just call me Vic or <laughs> something like that. Cause I looked at his name. It was like every fucking letter of the alphabet is in this dude's name. And I'm just like, there's no way he's like, Didn't. you can just call me Vic. Okay, cool. <laughs> so, okay. but yeah, I'm notoriously bad with pronouncing things. Uh, Hey guys, with the fall Nintendo direct out there now, we kind of know their lineup. Do you think that they are waiting until spring to finally announce the switch successor? It really seems like they want to get through a final holiday season with the switch here before showing us what the future is. Um, Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And and I think, I think anyone that like, you know, if you follow this kind of stuff at all, like, like there were some people that were mad they didn't announce the new switch like they're not going to do it to. before the holiday season because because like they want to sell switches yeah. for christmas they're, they're not, not gonna, gonna get, yeah they're not they're gonna, not gonna like, they're not gonna be like hey look at all this shit that you can get right now but here's the shit you really want like six months that they're not gonna do well, especially, yeah. Yeah, especially they'll, they'll announce it in yeah. february february or march like whenever that like direct is i think they'll kind yeah. of i think they won't even necessarily do a direct they'll do their own event and then that'll be depends for, on know, like october november if it plays switch carts or not like it damn well better but i um, hope so please <laughs> dear i think God. it will i think it will oh fair. man oh, and, and if you believe the the leaks that are yeah. kind of coming out about it from people say i think it is supposed to play right. i believe switch it will stuff. but there's always a chance right there's always mm-hmm. we've, all, we've also said it, like it is Nintendo, no way it yeah. could be a butt plug or whatever <laughs> like, whatever go. weird thing we've, that they we've do, somehow so. made them even smaller for no reason <laughs> yeah <laughs> these ones taste twice as worse <laughs> if you put them in your mouth as the ones we that we reversed the pin configuration for no absolute reason other than to do yeah. it so there you go uh but yeah absolutely that's yeah, what they're waiting for, for. Sure. um Richard from Chesterfield, Missouri. Hey, hey, dudes. I've been seeing quite a few YouTubers lately saying that 2023 has been the worst year for gaming yet. Well, I'm over here thinking the complete opposite. Diablo 4, Zelda, Starfield, Baldur's Gate 3, Hi-Fi Rush, Final Fantasy 16. Not to mention, we still have a big few games left like Spider-Man. This seems like the best year since late 2000s. What am I missing? Any, any, um, any YouTuber... <laughs> that is saying this is the worst year ever is uh their their rage bait yeah that, that's all it is. i think so. i because yeah. even if like like all the games that he mentioned there not all of those are my particular cup of tea right but like like there's a difference between like like i i'll play it eventually boulders gate 3 is not the type of game that i usually enjoy playing mm-hmm. sure but just because i don't enjoy playing it would not make me go this year fucking suck. <laughs> yeah. I, 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 it's like the jackass, like, you know, like one of my least favorite bands of all time is the Beatles. You know who I okay. wouldn't say yeah. is a terrible band? The yeah. Beatles. Because yeah. like, yeah. I have enough knowledge to know they're just not for me. Right. Yeah. But yeah, exactly. like, I mean, if we're just talking like this, these what, six games? That alone, one that year. alone puts it towards the top of recent memory. Like it's crazy, it does. and then you've got all these other little things that came out, like Sea of Stars, which I've been playing and think is fantastic. And exactly, like, we're not t- like Mortal Kombat One is not on that. It's not list. on here, but yeah, uh, Mario RPG and Wonder both come out. Like, that's, I think what's important <laughs> about this year is there. There has yeah, we have two more damn Mario games that yeah. haven't even come out yet, and we're fine. <laughs> but we're finally at a point where like Nintendo has a, a bunch of pretty good stuff. Sony has a bunch of pretty good stuff, and even Microsoft had good games for for a fucking year for once. Yeah, yeah. how could it? Yeah. Microsoft, <laughs> like, like Microsoft's going to have three bangers this year, right? And it, your your mileage will vary depending on if you like the type of game. Sure, but Hi Fi Rush, Starfield, and Forza, right, are 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 three bangers of games. I don't, like, that's not, I don't play those Forza games, but I know for a fact that they're incredible. It doesn't. Yeah. It will, and it will do very yes. well. Yeah, like that's the thing. Like. To say yeah, to say that this year is one of the worst is it's exactly bizarre. what Ryan said. It's it's on purpose yeah. to get people pissed yeah. off. 
and to get I think their comment sections all busted yeah. up and so they can get more views of their shit yeah, yeah. i don't believe people like that man yeah like people can have their own opinions because because like again like i said not all these games are right. going to be my favorite game ever and some people like more things than others but like Shut up! The worst year ever. <laughs> yeah, the worst year ever. <laughs> ever. Oh, I agree. Let's go back yeah, to the yeah, Nintendo no. at their Wii U height, and let's go yeah, through some of go. those. Yeah, years. yeah, well, yeah, yeah. The year of Nintendo, where their uh, their key game that they announced at E3 was like a what Pac Man World or something like that. Like that. <laughs> yeah. Or, well, I was like, thinking of the Wii music year. Oh, yeah. yeah. Where they had all the people out on the yeah. stage playing like, the Wii. Dude, yeah. Anyone who thinks that 2023 is the worst gaming year ever, <laughs> this is literally the first year they've ever played video games. Yeah. <laughs> that's, that, that, that's the only way that you could call it the worst ever. It is. Yeah. It is for sure. Um, our final email of the week comes from Charlie from Raleigh, North Carolina. Hey, guys. I was curious with the rise in literally every single video streaming service raising prices. Do you think we'll suddenly see one with Game Pass again after this acquisition goes through? We did just see Sony raise the price of Plus to ridiculous new highs, and they did not back down. Could Microsoft do the same to offset some of the cost of the lawn-winded ABK deal? Thanks. Yeah, I mean, it's, um, a, it's inevitable. Didn't they already right announce now. some kind of? Yeah, not right now. I mean, they, so won't, they, just, they yeah. won't do it day one. No, but they no, want people oh, in. No. I think you'll get one, but it's going to be a little while from now. We did just get one for Game Pass like a couple, couple months ago, couple but it was bucks. not. What, it was like a buck a, or two. Yeah. It was like a yeah. buck or two. Yeah. So, but again, the other thing with Game Pass is most people do the stacking thing. Well, so, but now that's going to end because there is no more gold. Well, yeah. But so, the other thing is, is they've they've literally just changed the service. So I don't think that yeah. there is a, like it's not reasonable to change the price of it right now because they just made core a thing. And by all accounts, yeah. core is an incredible value now because like that list of games it is. is crazy. And they're just going to cycle good. stuff in and out. It's pretty good. Um, yeah. I, I, and they also did that for, uh, I think, marketing reasons yeah. as well. Oh, for and sure. Again, this wasn't my po- this wasn't the thing I thought of. But I heard someone mention now because they've turned Xbox Gold or Xbox Live, whatever, into Game Pass. Now they can say they have 70 million Game Pass subscribers yes. or whatever. Yeah, and, you know, it's they very easy. Yeah. It's better to they investors will. and all that kind of stuff. Oh, yeah, um, yeah, for sure. But when the other thing you got to remember is before Sony did this, Microsoft did it and people went. Yeah. Shit. And within how long was it for oh, the gold? Hours? Yeah, no, it Last, was the same yeah. day. They said so it was mind. that morning they announced it and they were going to do gonna it double. was worse than the Sony one. It was double. And this was just gold. This wasn't Game Pass. Right. It was gold to be to be specific. But yeah. they raised all the tiers, and then within within twelve hours, they reset. That was back when Major Nelson was still yeah. there. He was the one that put out like, "Yeah, we're not doing that." Never mind. Sorry, we miss it. They Our literally bad. came out and I think said like, "We misread the room. We're not doing yeah. that." <laughs> and they I, never. I, changed I, I it always again. admire that kind of honesty. Yeah. Like, if more companies were just like. Look, when we were in the uh, when we were in the boardroom just talking about this kind of stuff, it seemed like a good idea. We clearly fucked up. Our bad. We're not doing. Well, because that. That, I think yeah. that goes a long way. People are still pissed. Yeah, transparency means but, a yeah. lot because from their end, they're like, "This is our this is our profit driver. How can we make more money off of it so that we can continue to make more things?" Like, I think a lot of people yeah. in like we saw it all the time as people who worked at a GameStop video game video game community are trash we're all trash we all know this is we're trash we don't under like so many people don't yeah. understand that these are businesses that have to pay employees yeah. and marketing fees and like all of that money has to come from somewhere man everything yeah. just can't keep getting cheaper now with some of this stuff predatory like the sony thing for sure was microsoft trying it's to too, double it's too much predatory too fast. Yeah. Yes, too much. But when they write, when they tell you Game Pass is it's got to go up a dollar or two, we're sorry, it just does. You can eat a dollar yeah. or two. What you can't eat is Disney Plus raising prices two times in two one times year, in the same year to almost double what it used to be, and not adding value, but taking, but taking things away, and taking things <laughs> off so that it looks more profitable because the asset yeah, is lower. It's... But we have all these views, so like yeah. they're manipulating yeah. that on purpose to get more out of you to the point where. Streaming services were supposed to replace cable, and holy shit, cable seems like a better deal now. It yeah. does. Because I can get a DVR box with cable, so if I don't, I don't need to watch, I don't need to wait for it to be on Peacock tomorrow, I can just tape it and watch it yeah, when I yeah. want to, whenever I want. And it's, fast forward through commercials. Bad. So, like, yeah. 
will Microsoft do it in another year? Sorry, Game Pass has got to go up another two dollars. We're sorry, but you yeah. can do it two dollars at a time. Yeah, and it, and people will understand. You, what you can't do is go, hey, we're going to raise it twenty, thirty, and forty dollars or whatever. And what you can't do is you take know, a tier. service yeah. that has been free for with no ads for years and say, well, now that same price has ads. You don't want ads yeah, anymore. That's stupid. Give us three more dollars. Amazon yeah. ones don't, but I mean, I only really use Prime well, to watch the. The, argu- the argument I, I read from a lot of people was, <laughs> I don't have Prime for to watch Prime video. Yeah, I I have Prime yeah. to buy things from Amazon. Right, I do and, too. And, yeah. and then the the video is just a nice thing. Right, I mean, you know, it is for, for me. I use it most right now because the Thursday night football game right <laughs> okay. is on yeah. Prime. You know, yeah. so that's great. But yeah, I, that was the one like Netflix kind of Netflix, you know, did the other heinous thing with the, you know, cutting, cutting people off that are, you know, are quote unquote sharing accounts or whatever, but they went too far well, with it because you have situations where, Hey, what if this person goes between two locations right. all the time? Yeah. yeah. What I, are I, they doing I travel a ton. You're right. Exactly. You know, if, if I, I'm not necessarily watching Netflix all the time, but like, oh. <laughs> uh, uh, any, like, like this next month. I'm going to be in different countries. I'm going to be, <laughs> yeah. you know, I, I'm in Northern California. I'm going to Indianapolis. I'm going to be in Calgary. I'm going to be in Portland. Like I'm all over the place. If I was using Netflix, it might look like I'm stealing or I'm sharing yeah, or whatever, exactly. you know, there's just not a good enough so. system built in place for that. But then again, they don't care because nope. no, if they lose you big deal, they've made more money by forcing other people to sign up. So yeah. for sure. streaming stuff is getting out of hand. Like when they, when Disney said that thing, when they were doing it, I asked my kids, I said, do you care? Not, not really. It's all right. It's gone. Yeah. We haven't used, we haven't watched anything on Disney since Mandalorian. Yeah. And I made the comment to my girlfriend, I'm like, all right. And I told her, cause the, the, I, I just canceled it the other day. Cause October is going to be when it goes up to 14 or 15 or whatever. And she had that moment of like, kind of sad. So I'm like, but what have you yeah. watched in the last six months on Disney? Oh, I guess you're right. Like, so yeah. it is what it is. And the, and the PlayStation just, thing, we talked about it. I haven't canceled anything that fast, I think, ever. I did it the same day. <laughs> I was at my computer at work, saw that come down, and I said, all right, let's go log in and just turn that off. Because there's no <laughs> it's, way in hell I'm paying 100 and Because I had the premium thing. There's no way in hell I'm paying 100 Yeah, yeah. I, you I, and I, I both the had the highest tier. Too. Yeah, we both Fucking did. Yeah, and it's just not worth it. I did that for those. Uh, the classic stuff. Well, what got me were the PlayStation. Right, yeah, but there's like, there's not enough. If I'm paying 106 dollars no. a year, I should have every fucking PSP game ever released. <laughs> at this point, right? right? Yeah. 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 At, at, at a certain point, and, and I don't want to ever make it sound like this is the noble thing to do. It's just the reality. You eventually push people because, like, I, I am always a big fan of like I, I want to support the companies. If you give me a, a legal way to play yes. these games i'm going yeah. to buy them i'll give you money but at a certain point you're like why am i not just emulating this shit right because like yeah. you clearly don't respect me so like what's yeah. the like at a certain point you just get pushed where you're like maybe that's not a bad idea i don't know it all, <laughs> it all falls back to the preservation argument where so much of this stuff is not playable it's not purchasable it is lost to the sands of time unless you emulate stuff and like if that's the only option people are going to do it especially because yeah. laws on it are so fucking hazy no one knows what the rules are i don't care if yeah. you think you know Oregon, what they are nobody knows what the rules don't. are for we're, we're, it's going to be really interesting next summer when that 360 digital store finally closes that's going to it's going to be a lot of going to be a huge lot of arcade too. games and stuff i mean yeah there's stuff that is backwards compatible but like there's a lot of those digital games that are not some of that stuff will disappear so, forever mm-hmm. yeah it's a bummer so um but that wraps up our emails for this week. As always, send your emails to podcast five seventy two at gmail dot com. Um, Ryan, if you have anything you want to plug, what you got coming up. Uh, sure. I know you got one really big thing coming up that that yes. I'm excited to hear about after it happens. <laughs> Sorry, I, I just uh, I, I just had to take a minute to cancel my PS uh, Plus. <laughs> <laughs> oh, another one, so boys. I literally yeah. just yeah. Yeah. I forgot about it because. It's coming up in February, yeah. and like for mine, and there's just enough time for me to forget yeah. that I hadn't done it, yeah, and I, I would be furious. Yeah. So, uh, so find me on social media, everybody. Cripple Threat Eight uh, on everything. It is me. Those numbers matter. You're not a good comedian unless that number is big enough 
Uh, that's how comedy <laughs> works now. Uh, so uh, follow me on there. Uh, the special I mentioned earlier in the show, Unarmed and Dangerous. Um, uh, it's my first special ever. It took me a long time. It's uh, basically my whole career of the material I wanted to put on there. Uh, it's on Amazon Prime uh, with ads now, apparently. And it's on Tubi for free <laughs> with <yeah>. ads. <laughs> That's just how Tubi <laughs> works. Both of them help me watch it either way. I appreciate it. Uh, so CrippleThreat.com is my website. All my upcoming dates are on there. Um, I have Corn in California coming up. Uh, I'll get to the big one that you're talking about last. I got Calgary, yeah. Alberta coming up. I'm doing a run of uh, Dubuque, Iowa, and a couple things in Michigan That's in cool. November, Dallas in November. I uh, got, a, got a lot of cool stuff like that going. Uh, the big one, though, uh, I'm very excited. Uh, October 13th through 15th, I will be at Portland Retro Gaming Expo in Portland, Oregon. Uh, I will be doing a show there. And I'm also doing a panel uh, with uh, Brandon Sahand. He uh, works for Microsoft uh, in the Xbox division. Cool. Uh, we're going to be talking about uh, accessibility in video awesome. games. So, oh, nice. Uh, again, to mention, I, I can't remember if you guys put a video version up for this or not. We but, know. Um, but but I, I have a disability in my arms. Uh, so from the elbow down, I'm missing fingers. I have uh, a limb difference. And for me, accessibility is a really big deal because um, as gaming gets more complicated the controllers and such get a little more difficult each and every system for me to do things mm -hmm. um so and, and he uh, uh brandon works for xbox kind of dealing with those situations he works with developers kind of answering questions and giving recommendations about how to you know here's how you can make things more accessible because a lot of people just don't think that way yeah. if you don't know anyone with a disability or you don't have one you don't understand why things could be difficult. Sure. I think, and so, I think so, a lot of times when people think of accessibility, they think of like colorblindness modes or, or other things yeah, like yeah. that in games or subtitles or audio things and stuff like that. And not necessarily yeah. control. Which are all important. Sure. But like, but like, you know, like I, I've played games since I was five years old. I've told you guys about my game collection. Mm -hmm. I yeah. spend a lot of money <laughs> <laughs> on video games. So like, it's a bummer when certain things come out that I would love to play and they just skip me over that I don't yeah. have. So, so we're, we're going to talk about that. I'm very excited to do that. Uh, so if you're in the Portland area, uh, please come say hi. Uh, mention the podcast. I'll, I'll, I'll give you a nice big wet kiss on the lips. Hey, that's what I'll do. You <laughs> I can get that. one of those at the show. Next time, only two. <laughs> okay i i am back in uh, uh chicago january 18th to 20th i'm at zanies and rosemont okay if that's not come, that far I'll give, yeah. I'll, I'll give you two big wet kisses no, on the lips. hold up wait a minute you're going <laughs> you, what the hell man south carolina is <laughs> the worst state for comedy ever <laughs> I, I, I i will 100 percent tell you matt just go to I, north I, carolina just I, see, give, see, give, there me, I give me a drive i'll i, I I, I have hours. a good friend who books shows in South Carolina that like he can't get people to come to shows because for whatever reason, South Carolina doesn't want to come to shows in those <laughs> cities. I'm trying to get out there. I promise you. I'm My trying. wife has given me an eight hour window where I okay. can make it to wherever you're at. But she's like, every time I'm like, yeah, you know, uh, Ryan is coming on the show. She's like, when is he coming down here? And I'm like, I, I don't <laughs> Uh, it sounds to me know. like Ryan is I, I will, directly blaming you and people you know, yeah. Matt. Yes, he's blaming you. Yes, no, South uh, Carolinians. I, I, I will be. I, I will give you the answer. It's one hundred percent true. So when it comes to where I will work, I am literally a whore. If you, <laughs> if, if financially it makes sense for me to be there, there is no place I'm too good to go. But, but I mean, for me, so like like a lot of times, people will ask me like, "Why don't you come to this city?" Because no one in that city has asked me that is going to pay me enough to leave my family. Like, that you gotta, like, that, that's all you got to do. You just have to make it worth me. <laughs> like I love my son. I will spend every day of my life at this house with him if I need to. So you have to like you have to entice me enough <laughs> to want to leave my son for a couple of days. You're in so that, 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 that theater. There we yeah, go. Exactly. I'll I'll do it. I'll, I'll do it at your house. I'll give you a house oh, show. Hell yeah. <laughs> there you go. There. You go. That's dope. <laughs> That's very cool about the PRG thing. Did you ever? Um, no, it's really. Did cool. you ever get one of the PlayStation? Like, do you use adaptive controllers at all? 
I honestly don't. No. That's, that's the funny thing, too, that I'll, I'll talk about alone there. Uh, I bought the the Microsoft mm-hmm. one. Yeah. Just yeah. because for me, it was the first major company that actually because like there's no way that thing's profitable. Oh, God, it's no. such a niche thing. <laughs> yeah. Right. But the fact yeah. that they made the chance to do it, I was like, I will support that. I, I will spend the hundred dollars to buy I've, that. I've seen I'll get some, the PlayStation one. Eventually. I've seen some crazy things people have done with those Microsoft ones. Just with like oh, yeah, the, the builds awesome. they've made to work with them are incredible. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. for me, uh, and we're already running so long no, here, yeah, but I'll yeah. keep this short. No, you're good. fine. But, but for me, since I started gaming with the NES, where it was just two buttons, yeah. basically, and uh, since I have been gaming that long, I've been able to slowly yeah. adapt and like figure things out. Cause, like I already had the. Con- I honestly don't know if my first gaming console was a Series X or a PlayStation Five if I would be able to figure it out very easily. Right. It's, and yeah. there's so much going on. And and so there's just so much to it that uh, like I'm a big fan of these adaptive controllers and anything like that that gets made. Yeah, they're cool. We, sure. just wanna, we just want to play games. We're, we're yeah. crippled, not dead. You know, we just yeah. want to <laughs> play these You want to be too. a part of this terrible, awful community full of t- awful, yeah. <laughs> awful people. I, I want to be super toxic, and, and yeah. I want to send death threats to Microsoft for <laughs> not putting go. Starfield on PS5, God. just like everybody <laughs> else. Yeah. your petition when I read it. I knew it. <laughs> well, once again, thank you for being on the podcast. And uh, we will be back in another two weeks for another edition of Podcast 572. As always, thank you for listening. Thank you, everyone. Stay safe. Bye-bye.